Dames en heren, lekker lekker winters opgeleid hier zo bij de Kenen War School. Um, Andere mensen slaap, tel op Pietersen. En die mensen recht bij actie, hulle wil speel. Hulle wil speel. Morning JP, uh, welcome to everyone online to Belleville Technical High School for a bit of a derby day mm. between the Kalen High School and Belleville Technical High School. Starting off this morning with the under 14A matches, followed by the under 15A, under 16A, and then a bit of a curtain raiser between Labian's primary. Tell us, as we all say in Africa, the man is in the floor, like the fair, like the roof, the under 14s, all is less for action. Yeah, boys, getting ready. A bit of a short warm-up this morning in the in the wet conditions. So let's see how it will go. I see now a few men who have hot chocolates on the way with us. Yeah, so field conditions not too bad this morning. A uh, bit of puddles on the far left in goal area, but the referee said no, we can play on. We're good to go. So let's get ready for the action. Yeah, so ladies and gentlemen at home, let us know where you are tuning in from. Who is the people that you are shouting for? Who's your son? Who's your neighbor? Let us know in the comments. We will try and interact with you as far as possible in the comments. And yeah, just give me some feedback there. If you like what you hear, let us know. If there's any uh, interesting things you want to chat about, you see on the field, let us know. We're here for you. And we want you to enjoy your time with us. It's JP Kellerman and Thurlow Peterson. Club Rugby Live on a Saturday morning. RTS Babel. The Kalen boys taking the field. As you can see, there's no numbers there. And the, the home side. Hatties Belleville taking the field there, fellow. Yeah, boys, very aggressive with the on-field run. Making a big occasion of it. So let's see if the game can be just as big. So on your screens, looking from... Left to right, the Kalen on your left, Hatties Belville on your right, Hatties Belville looking to kick off. Seems like they're going on a, on a split kick off. And ball gets kicked in by fly of Woodington, but collected there by player from the Kalen. He beats three, four players before taking a nice mud slide. So the Kalen with the ball, they play ball, but very good defense by RTS for these junior teams. They'll be testing each other for the full 50 minutes. So. Yeah, I tell you, we can clearly see the underfoot conditions a bit slippery. Uh, but yeah, ball taken in there to contact. The referee just making sure that everybody is on side. Ball coming out for the Kalen. Carried up there. RTS boys putting in some shoulder. Put on the foot there by the Kalen. Is it going to bounce? As you can see on your screens, they quite, quite wet underfoot, but good opportunity there. Oh, there's Bravo now to see what they can do with the ball. Ball coming out there. Long pass. Still also the numbers are quite small in the backs of the players, but we're going to try our best to bring you the action. Yeah, I think... Uh it will be an interesting game for both sides, um, having to test their technical or tactical abilities in these conditions, doing something that they're not really used to, which is putting the ball on the foot. You know, at this, at this age group, boys like to run ball in hand, looking for opportunities to score tries, but I think in these conditions, it's about putting teams under pressure. Yeah, the team that makes the least errors. So let's see the Kalen get the scrum, they put the ball in. Ball comes out to the fly. He loses it, but 
very good pressure coming from RTS and they get the turnover and there's an overlap but the ball just not going to hand so RTS Belleville they get to reset ball gets played off nine strong carry there by the loose forward from RTS it looks to me like it's Clayton Daniels with the carry and the ball comes same side to the fly-off he plays his eighth man oh but he forgets about the ball and I think that's his father that went there on the slide with him on the touch line losing well I also think just the, the the bowling contact skills will be tested today so you can see clearly this green 10 from Artie's Powell guys carrying nice and strong but as I mentioned the the, the technique in the contact will be tested. Uh, the the Artie's Powell guys look very physical mm. big pack of forward so let's see if they can uh, convert that pressure into points. Yeah, Artes with a penalty and they tap and go. Ball goes out to lock. Mr. Carstens with the carry there. Good clean from Artes. Looks like same side play is on for them. But a ball that slowed down eventually does come out to the same side. Ball that's carried well. And that's a try. Great stuff. Is he going to slide, fellow? That's not a try yet. for the small winger. He's not going to slide. Tyreek Abels. Tyreek. Fellow, I'm sure we're going to see him sliding there behind the uh -huh. poles. Definitely today. But a well worked and well executed play from RTS. Going same side. The Kayla not folding quick enough, not setting quick enough. And the winger from RTS finding himself in space and getting an opportunity to open up the scoreboard with the first five for today. But tell her, these early morning games, it's also who wakes up earliest, who's here, who's switched on. So, it's, so, so all those things play a role. And obviously, the guys in the team that use the opportunities um, the best. So now we have Cole Woodington. With an attempted conversion, a left footer, the youngster. Quite a rare skill there, left mm. footer. Schoolboy rugby. Let's see if he can add the two points. Oh, and it, he gets it over, he adds he the gets extra it over two. Bella, but I don't think he had his, um, he had his party this morning because <laughs> he just, just got that over. But seven points on the board for the home team. Referee blows his whistle there, asking now only for touch judges. But yeah, let us know in the comments where you are watching this from. It's a nice winter morning, as I say. It's a winter sport. We oh, yeah, had Artyas Bravo. The Kalen there with a deep kickoff. Good carry here. Down the end one. Beating two defenders. Beating a third one, coming back to the N1. Not sure he wants to go to the R300 yet, Thurlow. But here's an opportunity for the home team. Gets it out. The guys playing hot potato there. Still opportunity, but there's a turnover coming down. Now there's hot potato on the other side. Interesting. Um, I don't know if we call it quick hands or if we're just trying to get the ball in control there, but... Good carry there by the left wing. And here, it looks like our second scrum of the game, fellow. Yeah, team's just struggling with the wet ball this early in the morning. I mean, surely under 14s always play first in the morning, so wet ball shouldn't be something new for these yeah. youngsters. But nonetheless, second scrum of the day. First scrum for the home side, RTS. They've been the team that's been looking a lot more organized mm. on attack so let's see what what they can conjure up while well, Dino Moses he'll feed the scrum for RTS ball gets fed in comes to Woodington oh Woodington plays his inside center D'Amico Adams he gets tackled and here it comes to that live wire winger of RTS and it takes a few men 
to bring him down is Tyreek Abels. But the ball comes out again, goes to Woodington. He plays out to its eighth man, gets to the inside center. He beats the tackle off, but a ball that doesn't go to hand. Jens falling there in the swimming pool. The spectators really enjoying this running rugby put on display by this under 14 side of RTS. And ball comes out to Woodington off. But pass is just not going to hand. And the referee says, knock on. But yeah, Thurlo, uh, the left winger there, Mr. Abels. Um, really looks like a strong runner. Uh, carries the ball well. But you can see the uh, from the home team getting the ball through the hands. Actually not uh, kicking at all. Mm. So that's quite interesting. Yeah, they look full of running to this under 14A side of RTF Bell. By Mr. Cassidy Wynn and and Wayne Abrams. So the two coaches really doing their work with these youngsters, developing their skill sets and really working hard to build the capacity within these youngsters. So yeah, the guys just getting the boots on, making sure everything is tight. Great vibe, great energy there on the side of um, the body language of, of the home team. It's quite, it's quite good this morning, Ethel. Yeah, very good, very good body language by the home team. So now second scrum here for, for the visitors, the Kalen. Oh, very good shot from RTS, but the referee he blows his whistle and says they've got to do that one over. Also, well, be interesting to see how the field holds up for all the games. Quite interesting there. Yeah, I think. The best field in the wet conditions is the B field, but obviously using the A field for this encounter. Again, very strong shot from RTS. Definitely allowing the guys to go more than 1.5. Yeah, quite interesting. On the quite scrum. So it's Hatties that get the penalty on that scrum. Oh, they just uh, decide to tap and go. And they run it through Kihami Rasmus. He takes it up, takes a few the Kalen players with him. Ball comes back out to Urington. He decides now he's going to have a go at these defenders of the Kalen. He makes a few meters ball that's readily available. But the referee says penalty for double rolling by Woodington. The first time that he takes on the line, he gives away a penalty. Coaches won't be too, too happy with him. So the Kalen get a bit of a get out of jail card and they get to kick to touch him. With slippery underfoot conditions, kick just, just makes itself. First line out of the day. And the Kalen will have their first lineup. Let's see what they will do. What their numbers will look like. What the throw will look like. And then what the result will be. So the Kalen opting for the five man lineup. Let's see where they'll go. They come to the front. Oh, that throw looks like an iffy throw. And referee, referee very says interesting. Skew. Yeah, he gives. Oh, it's not a free kick. It's just yeah, he just stopped play there because of the skew throw. So now they have the option, either scrum or line out. And Ati is also opting for the scrum, for the line out. I beg your pardon. So 
Right, he's also going five man. They win their line out. They set them all. Hooker that gets side entry there from the Kalen. So penalty advantage for RTS. Ball comes out to Woodington. He gives it to his 12 center. He gives a cross kick off. Ball that's not collected there. Uh, referee gives a stern blow on his whistle and brings them back for the penalty advantage from that illegal collapse by the Kalen. Now the referee just having a chat to the captain of the Kalen. Presume it will be about team discipline. Well, RTS, they'll look to play. They tap it. And they give it to their big man. Kalen Harvey. He trucks it up. Keeps a few guys busy. All that slowing coming out. Lazy runner. But of, a, but of a Aaron Smith play there. Passing it against the... Guy on your side, but yeah, referee having none of that. Yeah, so ref goes, he'll go for the scrum. Doesn't want to give away too many penalties. So, Thelo, yeah, uh, also for those people at home, make sure that you subscribe on our YouTube channel. Subscribe, there's a lot more action to come this afternoon. There's club rugby as well. So, uh, yeah, subscribe and yeah. then also. We do different productions, we do talk shows, and um, we can come out to your school and cover games there. So let's see, it's action, RTS Bravo, quick tap, strong carry there, using his feet. That's the eighth man. Is he over? What does the referee say? Kiyami Rasmus, sorry. Unfortunately, there's a knock on. Maybe a bit too over eager, mm. the youngster. And I mean, JP, so far this morning, the rain's staying away. Yeah, 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 yeah. A very good omen. Yeah, a couple of hours ago, it was, it was tough out here. We could hear it. But, um, yeah, the weather gods giving us opportunity to play the game we enjoy. So, the Kalen being put under pressure the whole first half. They now get a scrum, but... Big shot from RTS, but ball comes out for the Kalen. They go long. And now fullback of RTS, Rakeen Simmons. He gets, he beats two. And he keeps on going, the youngster. Beats a couple of players here. The opportunities is on for RTS. Ball comes out to four lock and he wants to carry. Throw the, throws the ball over his shoulder. Collected well in the end. By his teammate and Whittington that comes to the blind side. He looked to give his winger some ball in space, but just can't get the offload away. Can Whittington, so he sets it up. Artis Belvo on the run again. They play the hooker. Abrams, he carries. And Artis again with all the ascendancy. Boys just, just looking off. Nearly intercepted by the Kalen. But then eventually knocked on. Yeah, Thilla, you would, if you look at the way and the style the RTS boys are playing, you will never say it's wet. Mm. You won't say it's early morning. They back their skill, they give the ball air. And the guys are also using their feet while in contact. So, so you can clearly see it's, it's paying off. Um, the, coach, the coaches would maybe want another one or two more tries before halftime just to, to show the ascendancy they have. They are getting very close to halftime now, so mm. it will be interesting to, kn to know what the coaches will be saying at the halftime break. But we've got a bit of an injury now for one of the Kalen players, the referee just stopping play. So also, also for, for, for the viewers at home, Thurlow, uh, the, the games is 25 minutes off, uh, this age group, five minute halftime. And then, obviously, yeah, 25 minutes again. So we're going to try and stick to the hour. 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 11. Trying to stick to that as far as possible. But yeah, let us know. Let us know what you think of the action.
where you're tuning in from and your favorite players, very important. Give a shout out to them. So a game that will restart now with the scrum in favor of the away side, the Kalen. Fellow, we also just need to give a good shout out here to Pursuit Electrics for sponsoring the day, very important. Publicity to these young players, getting exposure, always, always very, very important. So thanks, very, very, very much thanks to Pursuit Electrics. So the Kalen going on a bit of a 3-3 split. Are they, oh, tight head there from RTS. Oh. oh, ball that was played nicely and turnover here for the Kalen, but he stopped quickly in his tracks is their right winger. So the Kalen's ball, they go blindside. Oh, they come on a carry, but the ball that's lost there. So referee blows for, for a knock. Yeah, fellow, I just also feel the enthusiasm here from Inge Arendse. Um, tuning in. Uh, Michel Gierke, Kamen de Keile boys, uh, Alfred Sass. Um, and then, yeah. So Inge, uh, we see you guys. And then Uwetu. So far, so good for RTS. So yeah, let us know. Chat to us, get in the comments. Very important, subscribe and as well share the link on your WhatsApp status or on your socials. Yeah, so score still reads 7-0, another tight head from RTS. Ball that's then picked up there from their eighth man, Kiami Rasmus. And he also then loses the ball in contact. Yeah. So yeah, contact skills is going to be very important today. Ability to hold the ball while being tackled in this wet conditions. So I think we'll see a lot of scrums today, JP. Yeah. More than line outs. So the props. Yeah. Won't be the happiest of players so, today. So, so this is where you bring that long studs. <laughs> you can't come with your flashy boots today. It's all about long stud. JP, I don't, stuck in. I don't think these boys know <laughs> the difference between a normal stud and a long stud. But another impressive scrum from oh. RTS. But penalty. It's, it's very interesting because the dominating team has been penalized here. So the referee is not mic'd up now. But... I see that's the scrum of getting a yellow card there. Yeah, so it seems... Maybe a bit of chirping there, fellow. He made some sort of infringement, but now the Kalen looking to run the ball. And for the first oh. time looking organized, but the defense from RTS, yeah, it looks I must say, very impressive. Boys putting in good hits. Boys dominating contact well, but the Kalen playing one of rugby at the mm. moment is this. There's no synchronization, no organization. I mean, that's the first time we see a pass from the fly off. But there again, the ball lost in contact. There seemed to be a double knock, uh, if you ask me. But nonetheless, Atheus Belvo, they get the ball. So without the scrum off now, so they'll have to sort themselves out there. And Hoke Abrams goes on another run for RTS. But ball that comes to Woodington, he gives it out to his inside centre, he steps inside. Opportunity that was on there for the ball to go out wide and a counter ruck there from the Kalen. So they get the turnover ball, but just cannot get out of their own half, it seems. I doubt that they've ever been inside the half of RTS. Yeah, that's really foreign territory there, fellow. But just interesting, as we go to half time, um, the boys using their feet in contact here, but I think it's better to choose a direction, work with your legs, because there's a lot of slipping and sliding. So you're not actually benefiting from, from doing that. Yeah, so scoreboard still reads 7-0. As we came to the end of the first half, as we see that in the 15 A's prepping, for their match after this but we'll be back with you guys in just a few minutes for the remainder of this under 14 a fixture
Second half about to start. And the heavens are opening up here in Belleville. Lovely action. Second half about to start. Hello, um, interesting, huh? Interesting. Uh, next 25 that we have left. Yeah, scoreboard still reads 7 0. And interesting enough, the Kalen were playing with the wind in the first half. So I'm sure RTS will be playing in this. As you look on your screens, more on the right hand side of the field. But let's have a look. Oh, ball not gathered there by the winger of RTS. So, scrum ball for the Kalen first. Scrum opportunity. But penalty for kicking the ball away. So easy opportunity now for the Kalen. So they tap and go. They truck it up, but oh, he, he forgets to take the ball with him. And but I think, fellow, we could clearly see discipline on the ATS side. Was, um, so, yeah, they're struggling with their discipline, and that's very important. But so the they Kalen... tap and go again, the Kalen. Oof. He's met well in contact. He's that front rower from the Kalen, but ball that comes out to the left is opportunity. Oh, and the Kalen go in for their first five pointer of the game. I think it's, it's all great, great opportunity uh, taken there by the Kalen, but the Hatties need to sort out their discipline. Because uh, can, can, can this be a, a game of two halves, still? There's always an opportunity for whoever team is most hungry, has the most enthusiasm to take on the opponents and it looks as if the Kalen has come out more hungry in this second half. So referee just speaking to the fly off of RTS, just giving a bit of instruction. But now the Kalen looking to see if they can add the extra two points to even up the scores. And on your screens, what you're seeing, yes, it's, it's rain, it's water, it's here. But we're enjoying the schoolboy action here. Hatties Bauer versus the Kalen. Kick to come for the Kalen. Let's see what they can do. Comes forward. Good strike. Oh, and he puts it oh, over. Interesting uh, call there, but it's through the poles. 7 0. Game on. And Hatties Bauer, the scrum off, is called back onto the park. So it's now 15 versus 15. And it's game on the Kalen really finding their, their straps, as they would say. As RTS send their reserves to go and warm up, to keep warm. So RTS, they kick in. Ball that just, just goes over the 10, but ball that's lost there by the Kalen. You can clearly see the RTS side very physical in contact, uh, they're dominating that aspect, but they must just limit the errors and then uh, obviously convert that pressure into points. Yeah, RT is bringing on a substitution there. Number 18 coming onto the field. Noah Janssen coming on, replacing number 6 Riley Adams of RTS. Seems like Adams hurt his knee. So the coach making the call to rather save him for the rest of the season. Yeah, safety is always important. Let's see the big scrum here from RTS. Ball picked up by the Eichmann. Plays to Whittington, but Whittington forgets about the ball. And here's that lively winger of RTS. Well, a very interesting goal because he jumped into it. Yes. He jumped into it. So let's see what the referee says. And this is one of their opportunities where you need to make a split second decision. Mm. No assistance, no TMOs, just a live stream. <laughs> yeah, so I think a bit unfair there against the Kalen to concede a penalty and a potential yellow card as well. I mean, nothing malicious about that, nothing wrong about that he set himself up for the tackle and the player jumped into him i think i think as well as for the referee he's also just trying to seek the protocol so yeah. 
he doesn't get it, but knock on by the Kalen. So another scramble for RTS. The Kalen really under all sorts of pressure at, at scrum time, really feeling it, feeling the pressure from from the men from RTS. So while Dino Moses serving his yellow card time, he feeds the scrum ball that goes right through. Picked up by Eitzman of RTS Kiyami Rasmus. He feeds Moses. Moses gets to Woodington. Woodington just gives it to his forwards so they can set it up, bring some order. But Woodington, he waits, sends it out to his inside centre. Mr. Adams, but he loses the ball again in contact. Yeah, you can clearly see the intent of RTS. They want to lift the energy, body languages up, the home crowd is behind them. So let's see. Mr. Yellow Card getting the ball out to number eight, the strong man Erasmus. Met well in contact there. Eh? Yeah, good contact. Kalen picking up their energy a bit, but RTS still with the ball. They carry well again as Tristan Abrams that carried. Ball that comes to Woodington. He takes his man on. There's an overlap. It's on on the outside for RTS. They got a draw and pass. But he looks like he wants to go at it on his own. He's, he's a yeah, there was a two-man overlap. Draw and pass. Clear, clear scoring opportunity. I don't think his teammates will be happy with him there, fellow. Yeah, very good opportunity for RTS to go back into the lead. But the rain seems to be playing games with us at, at, at this moment in time. And it really starting to pour down as we just find shelter with the Kalen's first team coaches here. Big scrum there from Hatties Balbo, but the Kalen doing really well. Carry the ball out of the 22. Oh, but Hatties seems to have turned it over, but the referee says no, illegal. So he brings them back. So penalty for the Kalen, the hell kick for touch. Oh, he doesn't get it out, but knock on. So scrum ball to Kalen. Yeah, conditions will really play its part today. If the weather stays this way, really started to bucket down in the last minute. So yeah, fellow, also just, we just want to greet uh, Samantha Reigns. Welcome, Shelton Sneders. And then Inga Arons is saying, it's game on, it's game on now. Yeah, score still reading seven points for both teams. RTS with an opportunity there to score just before the rain came bucketing down. But the Kalen, they get their scramble. Oh, but they lose it in contact again. Ball seems to be very slippery. But the referee will Enjoys a long blow of the whistle. Says penalty to RTS for a ruck infringement. And Moses, he carries the ball for 20 meters, but the RTS have to play now. Ball that's slow, they bring it out. Goes to Woodington. It's a two on one opportunity, but he cuts back and loses the ball. So opportunity lost for RTS. But ball that comes back for the Kalen, they kick. But regathered well at the back. Fullback of RTS. But story of the day, another ball carry, another ball lost in contact. So the Kalen find themselves now just outside their own 22 meter. Forwards deciding to do the hard work and just truck it up. 
But a ball that's lost again in contact. So advantage. RTS, what can they do with the ball? Comes to Woodington. He looks for a runner. He chucks it out wide. Isaac gets the ball. Needs two players to bring him down. If RTS goes same side, they have numbers. Woodington gets. He shows and goes. He dummies. So gives to Moses. Referee says no knock. My goodness. Interesting call there. Opportunity here for RTS. Bauvel. Carrying the there, player. putting the ball on the foot. Still opportunity there for them. Ball still available for RTS. Marcus gets. Gives to Woodington. Reserve. Opportunity again here for RTS. Bauvel, the danger man. Here is he coming. Who's going to stop him? Great tackle there by the Kalen. Opportunity on the outside. Is he going to go all the way? Good, good, good defense there on the cross. That's the right winger there. Trying to finish it off. Unfortunately, <coughs> couldn't. RTS Palvo really looking like the most entertaining team at this moment in time. Energies are high as the Kalen have the scrum in there, 22 meter. Score still 7 all. But free kick by way of RTS. And they'll quick tap. Moses takes the quick tap. Oh, and bit of a coach killer there with a oh. sneaky. But the ball bouncing off the pole and he carried it back. What does the referee say? Five meters scrum there to Atish. The pressure, the parents getting involved in the touchline. Not really worried about the rain. Atish will have it now. Yeah, so I'm uh, but it is scrum dominant. So if they can keep the ball in eight pickup, I'm sure there's an opportunity to convert here. A lot of animated fans here. Oh, RT is not feeding the scrum. Yeah, own worst enemy. Referee said they can put it in, they was taking long. So the Kalen with the ball now. Strong defense. Penalty advantage, not 10, says the referee. Discipline, 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 discipline. Was the long arm penalty there? Because yeah. I see the guys aren't too sure what to do. Good oh, chip kick, kick there. <laughs> not finding touch. Oh, but at the same time not collected by RTS. So they'll come back for the scrum. <laughs> the 
but he had a lot of opportunities for us. And they are not, not using it. I think the coaches are pulling out the air as the parents are here, the side of the touchline. So scrum that's fed for the Kalen, picked up by the eighth man. He looks to make meters, but he's met well in defense. It's a ball that's played, same side for the Kalen. Going through the hands. Unorthodox passes coming out here today. ATS contesting well on the ground, but illegally so. So ball comes back for the Kalen, just not handling it well under the pressure. Ball comes out to Moses of RTS. He loses it in the tackle. So referee goes back for penalty advantage. And RTS is making three substitutions. But they'll look for touch. Still about at least 10 minutes to play, so there is opportunity for them to convert their pressure into points. But they must stay calm and patient. They're very, very over eager when they get into the 22. I think the parents are, are adding to that over eagerness along the touch, just feeding. Can't complain about. Oh, Hard done. They've been the most dominant team in this game. But the Kalen have found a way to get back and even the scores and given themselves an opportunity. So penalty the, RTS. Penalty to Kalen, I beg your pardon. And the, the frustration, fellow, on the RTS side, you can sense it, you can feel it, you can hear it. But um, they need to stay calm. But you have to award the coming out and trying and really trying to express themselves. Line out ball, the Kalen. Line outs haven't really gone to plan today, but. I think as well, just simply the concentration level boys. Taking the eyes off the ball, not losing their basket. Very lucky to get away with that one, JP, losing that, that line out ball. It was very well contested by RTS. But a Kalen. Oh, and eighth man of the Kalen, he picks up at the base of scrum, but ball that's held. Penalty, RTS. They decide to quick tap 10, so that's the penalty. So ball that's taken quickly, but doesn't go to hand, and it's knocked the but the referee says, he takes it. Oh. They try and kick the ball. Again, but the ball that stops in the rain. Kicked again. But the referee calls them back for penalty advantage. So the discipline from both sides not 
what it should be or what it's meant to be. ITS will tap and go. Ball that's carried strongly there by Kalen Harvey. ITS had decided to go back to the blind side. Issa that carries, he plays his loose forward. He carries, he trucks it up. But ball that comes back for ITS. Taken up there by reserve hooker. Anik Kroy, as Hathias edge closer, Woodington, he now gets, he throws it wide. Oh, and in the hands of the winger for Hathias, was this Sergio Mento, but very good cover defence by the men of the Kalen. A game that can go either way for both teams. So yeah, scrum opportunity here for ATS. Let's see. Let's see what they're gonna do. They need to use the opportunities now. Ample opportunities for the home side. Ball being put in. The dangerous number eight. Carrying strong. Good defense. Long pass. Ball coming out. Still in position for RTS. Offside advantage there. Long pass in the spot. But the referee says, unfortunately, it's a forward pass. Really? RTS have had more than enough opportunities, JP, to really take this game away from the Kalen. But just not using opportunities. Yes, rugby, going for the points. Well, they want to win this one in Dunedin. They can't seem to score try, so they've got to go for poles. So let's see if Woodington can add three points to the scoreboard. So let's see if Woodington has the temperament to add the three points. So just calling for one of his teammates to hold the ball for him as he lines this up. Wind behind his back. He puts it up. And he kicks it over. And that's the game. Artyas takes it 10 points to 7. And the celebrations are all on. The champagne is bumping. <laughs> the boys are animated. The parents are happy. All worth it. Coming out in this cold conditions this morning. Waking up at 5 o'clock, Thurlo, just to make sure they win the game 10 7. Must say, a well deserved victory for ATS. Having all the position, all the territory, really needed to maybe put more points on the scoreboard. But nonetheless, 10 7 victory in favour of the home side. So the first game of the day goes to the home team on the 14 A side of RTS. And we'll be back in just a few for the under 15 A.
encounter between RTS Belleville and the Kalen High School. Ladies and gentlemen, the under 15 game is about to start. Just quickly, I want a big, big, big uh, shout out and thanks to Pursuit Electrics, the sponsor of today. And then also, if you want live streaming at your school, live stream at your club, make sure that you contact us. It's clubrugbylive at gmail.com or just pop us a message on the socials at clubrugbylive. Make sure you subscribe on our YouTube channel and you'll be able to get all the action. We also have a show called The Set Piece, Wednesday evenings, where you'll be able to catch all the action and see us discussing this game. So, under 15 action, about to get underway. Yeah, both teams 
lining up the artists have been they've been ready now the Kalen just getting back from their warm-up and they'll come out and join us on the field if you missed it the under 14 a game finished with a bit of late dramatics with RTS taking that one 10 points to seven with a penalty in the last moment of the game Hello, so Esmeralda Jacob says JP Kipiro. JP Kipiro, that is her son. We must watch out for him. He is the number 12, the inside center for ATS Babel. Ah, oh. so the Kalen will take the field now. A few of their players not having rugby shorts. So excuse the, the long, the the long green the pants. Pan. But yeah, the Kaled on the 15 A side take the field. And that followed by RTS. With their captain, the Eichmann. Yeah, fellow, also the nice thing about schoolboy rugby, you're going to be able to speak about this for years to come. This wet morning, the derby in Babel. Jaden Cupido, Eichmann of RTS, also the captain of the under 15 A side. So, as you see on your screens, the Kalen playing from right to left, and it seems as if they will be the key team to kick off as well. So yeah, just make sure where you are, subscribe on our YouTube channel, follow us on the socials, Instagram, Facebook. Also this afternoon, there's a couple of club games that you will be able to see on your home screen while you are nice and warm. So kick off here for the Kalen, long, deep kick off there, oh. but bouncing, bouncing inside the field. Not good judgment there by the home side. So let's see. First opportunity for line-out, RTS Balbobo. Yeah, line-outs in the previous game, that never went the way they all intended. So let's see if the under-15 boys can do a better job at that. So six-man line-out called for RTS. They go up in the front, oh, they take their, their ball, they set their mall. Oh, that ball that's just lost at the back of that line out by Mika English Very upset with himself there but also feel that's filling up quite nicely as the people come in yeah people's clearly not afraid of the conditions out here they want to see action supporting their boys so scrum ball that's fed for the Kalen and Scrum that went quite well in favour of the away team. But Scrum off that just slipped as he collected the ball at the base of that Scrum. So they continue going forward to the Kalen. They play now off nine, but met very well in defence. But ball still available. Slow ball at that. Comes to the fly off of the Kalen, but he'll play his forwards. And they are met. Behind that vantage line, no meters made here by the Kalen. RTS really putting them under all sorts of pressure defensively. But they decide to pick and drive, and that's the captain of the Kalen. Takes two men to bring him down. But ball that's just very slow at the breakdown for this, the Kalen team. But they recover well, and it's RTS that get the turnover. So yeah, Thelo, RTS is also with a bit of wind if we read the conditions right in the first game. So let's see if they can exit here. They're carrying it up. There's opportunity on the outside. Loads of men on that side. Ball rolling out, coming down the back line. Getting the ball through to the wing. Good cross defense there. Nice uh, interplay there. 
uh, from the home side. Yeah, I think a ball that if the pass went to hand from 9 to 10, opportunity would have been seized a lot better on the outside but is But nonetheless, good hands by the men from is drawing and passing. But line out there, not a straight throw. But referee says play on. So the Kalen with the ball going back into the traffic and contested very well by RTS and they win the penalty. I think they'll go for their line out because it, they secured it quite well previously. But let's see. Ethan Arendse finding his touch. So it will be interesting to see if they're going to maul it again using the six man. Or are they going to bring a variation in the lineup? Definitely going for a full line out there. Oh, Ball jumper in the front. Back. Ball comes out very untidy. Off. Scrum off. Killing his fly off with the pass there. Oh! 13 center for RTS. Yeah, that's uh, fallen over there. Looking uh, uh, full of running. But just throwing the ball away. But RTS not releasing the man in contact. So a lot of penalties also here from the referee. Being clear that he's not going to allow things to not be done within the rules of the game. But a nice touch finder there for, for the Kalen, and I think that will calm their nerves a bit, getting into the half of, of RTS. Getting now an opportunity for an attacking lineup, just just outside the 22 of RTS. So Score still remains 0-0 zero, zero, zero as this game continues on. Both teams still feeling each other out. There's an oh, overthrow there overthrow. on the side of RTS Balvo. Oh, is he going to get the ball? Very well. Yeah, is he going to get the ball down the back line? Or are they going to exit? Strong oh, carry there. Pick up. Getting the ball away into contact. There's that outside center fallen off and again. Retaining their position. The Kalen very punched on defense. Nobody in kick space at the back, but they're carrying it. Strong carry there. Oh. Unfortunately losing the ball. Comedy of errors. And the referee says, let's come back for the scrum. Yeah, boys will have to look after the ball. In their carries here, under 14 coach of the Kalen Kaper Albertine. After his team's 10 7 loss this morning. Very unfortunate there. <laughs> Very animated here, but yeah, it's good morning rugby at the Kalen. Uh, opportunity there for the Kalen coming out down the back line. Still, uh, yeah, they're definitely regaining the position there. Guys flying in with the shoulders. The referee says, no, it's fine. They can play on. Discipline, discipline lacking there from RTS. So, penalty for the Kalen. And they take the quick tap and it's Captain Courageous with the strong carry there. Leading the way for his boys, but ball comes out. Hati is shooting up. Very aggressive on the defensive line of the men from HTS. So the Kalen will reset. They pick and drive. They slow the game down. They play to their strengths. So Scrum off now, looking for his options, looking for his fly off. Ball comes out to their captain, but very static. Is the play from the Kalen, but they speed it up a bit now. 
play same side they pick and drive but oh met very well in contact and penalty infringement by the Kalen offside off your knock but yeah you can clearly see the difference between the under 14s and the 15s the Kalen much more competitive uh, at under 15 level but the physicality of the RTS boys you can still see is coming through there yeah defensively RTS seem to be putting a lot more pressure on their opponents in both age groups which is quite nice to see for Fellow also good to see there's an under 13 game later coming up which is 4 and 2 versus Labian so check out for that one but opportunity here for the Kyle, home side down Carl for the rugby <laughs> down the back line ball on the foot is Into the opportunity space. here is oh. that Unfortunately, too much wheat picks this morning and he kicks the ball dead. But uh, Mr. Kipilo, uh, fellow, coming through there with the, hello, hello. With the ball on the foot. Yeah, uh, maybe watching too much of the Women's Soccer World Cup this morning. I yeah, know, definitely. With that kick. Also, the netball uh, starting up yesterday, South Africa with a good victory. Over Wales, yes. I mean, the tough part for those girls is they play every day. Every day. For the next 10 days which will be quite taxing on on, on the bodies but it's the Kalen with the kickoff they put it high into the wind and regathered there by the Kalen so they've got to play a lot quicker JP their breakdowns may be just a tad bit too slow but a very good run nonetheless but they're always running back into traffic uh, I think they favor their forward play Thurlow so that's why they tend to just go back into the traffic there. But knock on by the Kalen at the breakdown. But yeah, while you're at it watching the game, make sure you subscribe on our YouTube channel. Follow us on the socials. If you need any event at your school, at your club, contact us on Club Rugby Live and we would gladly, gladly, gladly want to come out. As we can hear, around the 16 boys getting emanated. But yeah, opportunity here for the home seat. It's keep it out. Keep it out. Strong carry there. Opportunity here for RTS. Men over on the outside. Putting the ball on the foot. A lot of pressure. Referee says it looks like a late tackle there. Obstruction. Opportunity, a bit of uh, showboating there on the side of RTS, but here's an opportunity for them. They need to capitalize. Let's see. The ball is at the foot of the scrum off. Getting it down the back line. Opportunity. Strong carry there by the loose head. That's Williams. Giving it here to his tight head. Will he go over? Try time, first points on the board for RTS Babel. Yeah, JP, RTS identifying opportunities there. The Kalen just too narrow in defense and RTS identifying space, identifying opportunity. Maybe not getting the ball wide the first time, which, which they wanted to do, but recycling it well and bringing it back and getting the heavy boys over for a five pointer. So Hati is taking taking the lead in this one. 15 minutes played in this first half. And scoreboard reads five points to zero in favor of the home team. We're playing also with the wind, JP. And it seems to be as if the weather conditions are clearing up. Well, but it's very interesting uh, the ball being taken on the 22. Very, very interesting. Because if you go close, uh, it's easier to kick it over anyway. Maybe he knows something that we don't. Yeah. Don't they always. But scoreboard reads five points to zero. In the favor of the home team, Hartes Belleville. So the Kalen kickoff. Ball not collected at first glance, but forward pass there trying to be a bit innovative 
with the forwards from Hati is. But not looking after that ball. So scrum ball for the Kalen. The Kalen have not really been out of yeah, no, this they, game, JP. They've been chipping, chipping away. I must say that and the, the, the field is, is keeping them quite well. Um, keeping it quite well. After this one, we will see the under 16 game. So let's see. The Kalen with an opportunity. The referee is not happy there. But the Kalen with an opportunity now to keep the ball. The forwards were, were doing quite well, quite dominant. But let's see, maybe there's something in the backs. Yeah, the backs look as if they've set up for something delicious. But we first got to get the scrum right. So the referee that calls the scrum. Ball gets put in. Scrum off. Playing like an eighth man. Loves looking, the contact. Looking for opportunities. And now a ball that is held up, which his coaches won't like. It's still the scrum of the Oh, but he's managed to regain the ball and they pick up the drive again. Something that they've done a lot in this first half to Kalen. So their captain courageous, he goes. He picks and drives. They need a couple of men to keep him down. Now ball comes out, player just going on his own, not really looking for support or looking for a runner, but... But yeah, we can clearly see the intent and the, the physicality there of the Decalion forwards. I, I definitely think they must just keep it here, Thurlo, tap and go. See, if you go for the line it becomes a gamble. So yeah, definitely keeping it there amongst the forwards. I'm sure if they keep their patience... Oh no, they go for poles, JP. We add back it down, Eden. Yep. Interesting because it was so dominant, ball on the front foot. Uh, but yeah, captain made a call. And I see them just yeah, throwing the tee there. So let's see if they can get their first points on the board. Yeah, I think it could be a smart decision mm. by these under 15 boys. You never know what the way the game goes. I mean, they're playing against the wind. Yeah, so I think any points on offer, they'll off, take. Yeah, they've got the wind behind them. So let's see if their kicker has an educated boot. He lines it up. Oh, but he also pushes it to the right. The ball is still in play. The referee says... Oh, he took it over the dead ball line. Very uh, interesting decision there. So scrum Let us know what you think at home. For the Kalen. Ball taken. Ball taken over. So the Kalen again getting the scrum call. Now the eighth man picks up, oh, but he forgets the ball, knocks the ball. Yeah, the ball is quite important in this game. Without it, you can't play, Thurlow. Yeah, so they'll have to recoup and Hati is good. It's Kipiro, good kick there by JP Kipiro. Opportunity now. Look at these RTS boys. Oh, what Coming. good tackle. Counter rack on its way. Good pressure. But penalty rightfully so. Tackler getting up on the wrong side. He needs side. to roll. He needs to roll. So they'll have to just get their discipline right from both sides. Is that ball going to go out? That ball is not out. Well kept in. Cannot but play the ball on the ground. Very interesting. I think the referee will just have to speak to both sides regarding discipline. But Too I must many. say the referee is very, very clear with the intent on his whistle. You can clearly see, um, yeah, he's controlling this game well. Yeah, so uh, RTS opting to kick for touch. A uh, very interesting deal. What I will do is there's a lot of kick space at the back. Yep. Instead of forcing for the line-out, 
kicking it downfield and just putting a lot of pressure on it. But that's why we're in the commentary box, eh? Saat is opting again for the full lineout. The referee exactly says there was the a point dummy. We made. Now they lose the ball in the lineout. The referee said, because you can't. Um, what is the English word? It's a muck. <laughs> Let us know at home what is the English word for muck. <laughs> but yeah, he faked it, eh? Yes. He faked it. Oh. Just. Comedy of errors. Two men at both sides. That's just killing the flow, killing the momentum in this game. Not allowing any ascendancy or any flow in the match at the moment. But I think JP, we've been blessed so far that they just opened the tap a bit earlier. Only had four minutes of rain. And uh, it's been very good so far. So scrum ball for RTS. RTS really going backwards and losing the ball. And the, the Kalen regathered the Kalen forwards. Very strong very in this dominant. one. But they need points on the board. Captain Courageous. He gets taken down. So, fellow, in order for, for the Kalen to get that points on the board with their forwards, they need to play closer to the Trainer. But let's see. That's a nuggety scrum off there. Carrying the ball. Ball coming down the back, back line, line. Calling for it. But he goes on his own. Not even looking at the men next to him. Ball that's getting very slow. But comes out to the forwards and they'll track it up. Oh, but they lose it in contact. Are they going to kick it downfield? Referee says high tackle. So another scenario, what are you going to do? It's a penalty. They seem to want to go for touch. Very they want to get out of there off. Two touch finder there. Is it that man Arendse? Yes, Ethan Arendse. Making sure he gets the ball into touch. Uh, there's not much play left in the first half, fella. Yeah, Artie's looking to end the first half of strong. Maybe come away with another five points. So they go seven man, they go middle ball. Oh, it's overthrow, but still collected by RTS. So what are they going to do? They'll go same side. Scrum off sees an opportunity, but yeah, it's parents. Not much for him to take on, but ball comes out to the back. Cupido getting the ball there to Vollenhofen. Vollenhofen looking very strong in contact, good leg drive. But now ball that slowed down unnecessarily. There's men over on the outside. The oh, medical pass. Can the medical pass. Still opportunity here for Artis Bauville. They need to just keep their composure. Ball coming out. Strong carry there by the seven flanker. It's Mr. English. There's still men over on the outside. Arendse. Long ball. Oh. Unfortunately, not being able to keep the ball. And Captain Courageous, as always, with his pick up and drive. And it's the man that we've been applauding the whole game, Mr. Fullenwiffen, who fumbles that one. But if you can see how Arendse was corking that pass, <laughs> instead of just playing it through the hands. So they, they come back yeah, for that knock on advantage. For the long ball. Again, opportunity missed by RTS. Huge overlap, huge numbers out wide, but not using that opportunity to their favor and therefore not being able to extend their lead, which is now five points to zero. Jeez, that's cool. Huh? Interesting, we see a lot of people here with white shoes uh, this morning, fellow. 
I think they're definitely regretting that decision. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, the youngsters of today, they don't watch the news, they don't watch the weather. Because TikTok don't give the weather, so uh, you <laughs> just put on your clothes and you come out. But yeah. the opportunity of a big scrum for, um, for, for Harting's bubble. Yep. Because the Kalen was dominating the scrum, but let's see if they can put pressure on them. All that's put in there by the Kalen. Eitzman picks up, but he knocks is it. Is there another opportunity before half time? Yep. Yep, there is. Very crucial moment in the game, this. Make a note of it. Crucial moment in the game. Opportunity here for Atheist Balbo. They need to convert this. Will the Kalen be able to keep them out? So there's a blind that RTS could utilize. Big open side. Eitzman, he picks up. Goes straight into the scrum of, of the Kalen. What will RTS do? They pick and drive. Oh, and it's a try. Try time for the men from RTS. And it looks like it's Joseph Ioni that dots down and gets the five-pointer. For RTS and that extends their lead to but, 10 yeah. points. Hello, vital moment in the game there, vital moment in the game and capitalizing there by the home side. Last kick before half time. Uh, can he add, can must he add the extra two Arit. points? So let's see if Aronsa can line this one up and add the extra two points before the teams go in for their half-time break. He sets himself up, but he just draws it to his left and that's the half-time break with the scores, 10 points to zero in favor of the home side. So we'll be back in just a few with the second half of this under 15A encounter between RTS Belleville and the Kalen High School.
opportunity for them to exit. They've got the win behind them, show and go. Strong carry, looks like a fresh guy coming from the bench there. Oh, pressure, opportunity for ATS. Referee says, no, knock on. ATS ball. Yeah, so it'll be interesting to know what the coaches of uh, the two respective sides mm. had to say at half time. ATS now playing against into the wind. Okay, and what the wind? 10.0, 10.0, eh? ATS Babel. A oh, big scrum from RTS. Picked up at the back by the eighth man. There's that man, Cupido. Oh, but another ball knocked. So advantage to the Kalen from the knock on. But ball that's fumbled and lost. So the referee playing his whistle, taking him back to the. Patello keep it quite tall, Boiki. Good ball skills. Not making too bad decisions. It's a ball that's fed in the scrum. But need on the ground by the tight head prop of RTS, but it's a quick tap by the Kalen. And they look for the contact and losing the ball. Such a coach killer. Yeah, referee yeah. just talking to his uh, AR. As you said there, Thalo, definitely a coach killer. Quick tap play. Just looking for the contact and then you knock the ball. Will always be difficult in these conditions. But then again, the Kalen chasing this game behind 10 points to zero. So they've got to put points on the board. So scrum ball, middle of the field, ideal position for a scrum. Let's see what Arteus do. Ken Eitman picks up and he just carries. Still carrying the ball. Good, good carry there. Opportunity. Ball backwards. Still opportunity here for Arteus. There's nobody in kick space. Are they going to use it? Oh. Arons, uh, unfortunately, just taking his eyes off the ball. He just, looked up. And I thought he heard you, JP, but then <laughs> just forgot to catch the ball. So they go back for that infringement. So they watching the, the link, share it with your community that people can see. Subscribe on the YouTube channel. Because yeah, we still want to do a lot of lot of coverage here. And here's an opportunity for the Kalen. Third carry there. For the freshman from the bench, scrum off, always doing well in contact for the Kalen. Strong clean out there. You can hear there's a lot of shouting from the wing, but these forwards first want to see if they can't go through the middle, taking the quickest route there. The referee saying no, the man was on his feet. He had to release the ball. So it seems like Arteus have a player down injured as well. Number 23, Rowan Samson coming on and then injuring himself. And now will have to depart the field again. I mean, not the best of situations for any player coming off the bench. And two minutes later, you see yourself going off the field again. Othello as well, with this cold conditions, uh, it's not easy for the, for the boys out there. Getting the exit there. Opportunity for RTS. 
Throw the ball in the lineup. Going then for the full line out. Front ball is on and they take it. Oh, ball just over. Byron's getting it there to Arons. Uh, strong carry by English. There's that man, Vollenhofen. Is it a turnover? Referee is very consistent, fellow. Giving the yeah. penalty to the other team. It was now. actually Jaden Capito, the eighth man of was the eighth ATS man? that came against the grain mm. and then lost the ball at the breakdown. Similar running style there. It's fallen often. But both of them doing really well in this game so far. But yeah. as we can see, the people are coming down. So RTS Babel, if you're in the area, pop by. If not, follow us on the stream. Make sure you share it with your community. But here's an opportunity for the Kalen to win the ball back. There's a pot up in front here for RTS. Let's see if the Kalen can take the middle ball. They go oh. for the front ball. The bailout option. Not bad there by Captain for it. But the players just want to keep ball in hand at this moment in time. So they pick and drive again through the captain, but he's taken back by two defenders of RTS. So the Kalen just playing in the same area of the field the whole time and now trying to run and throwing a very loose pass there and followed by another loose pass and the Kalen just going backwards at this moment in time, not getting any momentum, not looking to put the ball on the boot either. And Arti is really defending well, folding well, but it seems like they might have overfolded. But Kalen just not identifying that there's space out wide, but a very strong carry now by the forwards of the Kalen as they continue to pick and drive and seek momentum and they get a penalty advantage out of it. Offside penalty there. So the Kaila now opportunity to find touch, but they don't. Got a ball that's let. Allowed to roll, but conditions underfoot. Not too great, but the ball eventually goes out. That passage of play would have made a nice TikTok there, fellow. The water going, the men sliding. But the boys are putting their body on the line. Clearly, they don't care about the conditions. If they see the, the space where your shoulders are turned, they're going to try and step you. So, line out to Kalen. Two scrum offs, says the referee. So, quick tap. The Kalen take it. Ball comes to the centers. We haven't seen much ball. And he still goes. And then another pick and drive by the Kalen. Let's see what the Kalen can do. It's their first visit to the 22 of RTS. Oh. But ball that's just thrown away by the forward but of the Kalen. The, the guy coming from the bench doing very well, fourth carrying. Strong in contact, but unfortunately, just had composure, recycling the ball. Yeah, boys just not looking after the ball in this game. Throwing it away, very careless. So RTS let off the hook in this one. But remember the Kalen has a very good strong scrum. So let's see if they can put pressure on RTS here. Arendse. Against the wind, it kicks downfield. Let's see what the Kalen can do. Oh, RTS, the centers with a very good chase of that kick. But the Kalen, they go for that pick and drive again. Really making good meters on their forwards. 
another pick and drive again. But as you said, Thello, they must play in the right areas to do that. There they carry again, play their forwards off nine. And penalty to HTS. So penalty for HTS. They go for the quick tap. And then they go for the up and under. Ball that goes backwards and collected there by the Kalen. So they win that contest. Yeah, one too many drinks as they would say in the maybe one too many pick and drives but here the Kalen go again now playing off nine they now need to look after the ball but tackler taking too long to roll away so not 10 with a quick tap but of fighting the tackle here by the Kalen showing Grant but losing the ball in the end So the Kalen, they get the penalty in the 22. Ball gets taken up. There's an overlap. Oh, but ball has just lost in contact. Oh, and the chase is on. Oh, but they miss it. Oh, there he comes. Offside. So, so oh, what in front do? of the ball. They identified they're in front of the kicker. But they, but still they had went. to retreat. Yeah, yeah. They still went forward. Uh, good piece of soccer there. Yeah, yeah, look. If the conditions call for it, you've got to play it. Yeah. <coughs> so the Kayla not handling the ball well. Facets of the game. I mean, in a much tighter contest, they would definitely find themselves behind on the scoreboard. But a line-out for the Kalen, contested well by RTS. Hello, but we always discuss this point. Would you do a full line-out in these conditions? Yeah. Uh, what do we see here uh, when we look into the skies? We see the sun blazing. Coming out, Can't showing its face. Sun trying to, to push through. So scrum ball for RTS. The referee just waiting for the pack of forwards to set. And set properly and again. Pick up by the eighth man. Oh, yes, he draws and pass to his scrum off. Uh, oh. But he forgets the ball well, again. Uh, without the ball, we can't play. Oh, but there. Very good cover defense. defense I think along, by RTS. along with the water, there must be some Vaseline in that scrum that wow. they put on that ball. My goodness. Opportunity of begging there. But yeah, we just need to. Um, First of all, thank you guys in the comments. That's live. Chatting to us, Whitney Philander, good morning. Good morning. Would like to make use of our services? Contact us, clubrugbylive at gmail.com or at clubrugby on the socials. Opportunity here for the Kalen with a chicken wing. Ball that goes backwards, says referee. A lot of backwards running on the foot. Soccer again. Trying to play a bit of one touch. But player that's held back illegally by the Kalen. So RTS take the quick tap. They throw it out wide. The referee says but I think offside. They will, yeah, they will kick themselves there, Thurlow. They had opportunity. They don't have to rush it. Yep. They head on the scoreboard. They could have even gone for the poles. Correct. But the Kalen opting for the scrum there. We also see here. Uh, the under 13 boys coming out for their warm up. Four and two, Premier. Four and two, the man of all four and two are the van dag. Has niks acht and two gaan nie. They'll be playing against Labiaans. Primary school a bit later. 
but a good early shove there by ATS. Almost said good scrum, but early shove from ATS and a Captain quick courageous. tap by the captain of the Kalen. But he's on his own, so he'll have to look after that ball. And he does just that. There's but opportunity on the outside. Oh, he knocks it just a bit too much. Just press the reset button, the referee said. Let's go to the scrum. But yeah, we must say it's turning out a lovely morning here in Belleville. Just opposite Access Park, Kales River. And it's action, it's Derby Day. It's the Kalen versus Artis Belleville. We also just want to thank our sponsor uh, for making this day possible. Because without them, we can't do this. Pursuit Electrics. Thank you very much that you guys made this possible opportunity here for ITS. Throw the ball in. Well, the eighth man pick it up. No, he doesn't. Go straight to nine, but penalty advantage, says the referee. Loose forward. Not bound to the scrum, so they go back for the penalty. And they get the quick tap. Ball out to the winger, far side winger. But the referee comes back, he says, not 10. But why would you tap and go, Othello? <coughs> JP, Slow it down. Let the boys play. <laughs> let the boys play. We're not at Loftus, we're not at Ellis Park. The Springboks aren't playing Argentina. So surely we can have some entertainment from the young men. Ball taken quickly and wow, good run. If the bus is full, you need to take the taxi. Strong carry there. Jaden Mahoney with the carry. Cupido. Ball comes out, Cupido, he sees space. But not a, not a well executed kick But, but from not the a bad reward because they're getting the ball back. And Cupido wants to play. Cross kick. Is this opportunity that Kalen was waiting for? Not getting the offload away there. Here's your main fellow. Pick and, pick and drive. Pick and go. Unfortunately, Revery says it's backwards. He has a much better view than us. Here's your chip and chase. Cupido working back. He meant full and well fun. Yeah, playing Opportunity the ball for the, on the ground. The Kalen go for the quick tap. They go to the captain again. He eventually, oh, good counter ruck. Offside there from number six of RTS and another stormy run by the tight forward of the Kalen. Here comes the reserve lock of the Kalen. He chicken wings, but his player was never expectant of that ball. Counter ruck from RTS. RTS is very physical at the breakdown in the contact situations. But the Kalen still have the ball. They need to look after it now. And penalty. Since there was a fair contest for the ball. He had all rights to the ball. But the ball carrier not releasing. Here we see Aronsa taking his time. He thinks he is at Loftus still. Yep. Kicking the ball through the scaffolding. <laughs> if it was a trick shot, he would have executed that very well. Not much time left. Looks like this one will be going to the home side. Using the opportunities quite well this morning. So a lineup for RTS being thrown in by Seth Agnew. He finds his jumper and the mall is set. But Eichmann of RTS breaking away. Jaden Cupido. He sets the ball available. Ball comes out. Oh. 
The referee blows his whistle. Goes to the captain, he calls the player to the side there. It, and the referee gives him a yellow card for the substitute. So that's his game done. And the Kayla and I have to end the game with 14 men on the field. So Hatties, they go with a tap and go. Oh, and Jaden Mahoney pushing his own. He wants his place. Own partner Chadley Williams out the way and tells him, hey, I want to go, but unfortunately Mahoney loses space. the, the ball in contact. And then Hatties giving a penalty away for hands in the cookie jar. Very interesting here, yeah, the Kalen opting for the lineup. I don't think they've won one on line this afternoon. Yeah. Or this morning. Oh, JP, now the Kalen going for the four man line out. Yeah, somehow your I... messages are <laughs> creeping through onto the field of play. Oh, no, they've extended it to a five man. Oh. And they take the front ball. The bailout option. After a lot of confusion, they do eventually get their ball back. And a good carry here by the Kalen. And again they go. Captain Courageous. He picks and goes. I wonder how much time they spend at training with a pickup and drives there, fellow. You need a lot of initiative to be able to do that. Yeah, they go again. Good defense there by Cupido. But it seems he's got a got an elbow to his throat. But the Kalen still playing. Still with the ball and Captain Courageous comes up with it again. And he goes same side. There's opportunity on the outside. Offside penalty for the Kalen. They've got to play. They've got to tap. They've got to go. They've got to catch the bus, but Hati is not but 10. But how many opportunities does the Kalen want? There's men over on the outside. And it's filling up nicely here, Thurlow. The Kalen tap it, they go. There's a man on a solo mission. But now the Kalen, they tap and go. They need points on the board. They slow it down, the forwards get ready. Scrum off, he gets. He gives to one of the smallest players. And he's met well in defence. And he gets taken backwards. So the Kalen have to regroup, regather. Oh, Captain Courageous with another strong carry. They keep it tight, they keep it close. They are now two meters out from the try line. Oh, the Kalen, they can see their first points. Captain Courageous, he's taken back by three, four players. Lati is really determined to not let the Kalen score. High tackle there. It's the men over on the outside if they can get the ball through the hands. Will he make it? Oh, oh no! So Unfortunately, the TV races. There was a slight knock on. How close, how close was that fellow? A game that really delivering so much entertainment, even in the wet conditions. A real, real opportunity there for the Kalen. But they fumble the ball over the try line. So Atheist find themselves with the scrum.
Hatius feed. Strong counter shot from the Kalen. But referee says bind from a loose head prop. I think JP the game was done. Fly off tried to go for a to be fancy and ends up losing the ball, but Artius get the penalty. I beg your pardon, the Kalen get the penalty. And they get an opportunity to get some points on the board. Tackler not rolling away there. Seven flanker for Artius. Not 10. Poor discipline there from the Kalen. For that yeah, ill discipline. Artie should have just kicked the ball out and the game would have been done. And there's men, there's men over on the outside. So they tap and go, do the Kalen. They pick and drive again. And ball that comes out. So the Kalen still have the ball. They can still play. Our ball comes out to RTS. Cupido, he kicks it downfield. He puts on the chase and there's a knock and there's a player offside and there's so much going on. And the referee, he blows his whistle. And that's the end of the under, six, under 15 game between RTS and the Kalen. The score is 10 points to zero for the home side. So they won two on the row so far. But we'll be back for the under 16 a counter in just a few.
Ladies and gentlemen, the under 16s, they are about to get going. The Kalen going onto the field. As you know, we've got the RTS Powerball team sheets. So we'll show you guys now what's happening there. Home team getting ready, getting ready for action. Yeah, let's see. Led by the captain. There they go. It's the home team. The under 16s. They're ready for action. Onto the field. The first two games won by RTS. Let's take it. Fullback is Smith. Right wing Fisahi. 13 is Julius, 12 is Erasmus, then we've got Paulson, Fortein, Peris, Smith, Bison is the number 7, number 6 Solomons, six, uh, number 5 and number 4 Ibot and Pianchi, that is a lock partnership there, then we've got Mai, Soyana and Aris, that is the home team, the under 16s. Of RTS Babel. Let us know in the comments where you are watching this game from. Make sure you share the link with your community. I'm sure this is going to be a crack of a match. The bigger boys stepping up to the plate. So yeah, Inga, let's see what's happening. The Vigo, thanks for that one. Lila, welcome, but ball kicked very deep here. Yeah? The Kalen boys carrying it up. Massive defense. The referee, what is he gonna say? All the playing was done, but it was irrelevant because they're going back to the 22. Yeah, RT is playing from left to right on your screens. Uh, the rain uh, just told us he's still here, he's still present. Just got back. Uh, opportunity here. Oh. Unfortunately for RTS. Ball Kalen. just not going to end. Yeah, no, is the Kalen gonna throw in? They playing, referee says play on fellow. Well. to Kalen without the scrum off, so they'll just have to pick and drive. A very interesting game plan here from the under-16s, eh? Copy, copy and paste from the under-15s. <laughs> I'm sure they train against one another or the same coach or something. Just finding out by Yuri Oliver. Yuri, pick and drive, a big thing at the Kalen. I see it's culture. It's the culture. Pick and drive <coughs> from M22, great stuff. Oh, the Kalen set up. Cross kick there. Box kick against the wind. Collected well out wide. But knocked on as he went to ground, says the referee. Was that ball by Matthew Paulson? Yeah, just a couple of drops. Big drops. Blessing us here. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the fire is still uh, moving there in the background, fellow. We unfortunately not there. But uh, opportunity here. Eh? Yeah, for so first scrum for the Kalen. Yep. In there, 22. So let's see what they can do with this ball. Let's see if RTS will have the number in the scrum. And RTS do put in the shove, but ball that comes out. The Kalen that played out their backs. Oh, overlap was on, but JPR must say the defense from RTS in all the games so far has been really good. They really cover their spaces well, they make good hits. 
but ball is just not in contact by RTS. <coughs> yeah, I know, I must say, the guys are putting shoulder in. Not scared to do that. So second scrum now for the men from Kells River, the men in green. Ball that's out. Taken in there by 12 centre, but he's met well and carried back by Eithman of RTS. That did really well there. Penalty here for RTS. Let's see. Are they gonna play quick? Are they Joshim, going to line out? Joshim Smith really accounting himself there for that strong carry. And that giving RTS the ascendancy on defense. So now RTS will look look for touch. They look for the line out. Another left footed kicker. For RTS. And that's fullback Zavandre Smith. For that touch finder. So first line out for the men from Belleville. They go for the four men. They dummy middle. Oh, but contested well by the Kalen. But tapped whack backwards is the ball, but then carried off of nine. So the Kalen, they reset, but they go for the box kick against the wind, JP. Not making much sense, but regathered by RTS, given to fullback Smith. He puts it on the boot, and the Kalen now with a counter attack. But fellow, a lot more kicking in this game than we've seen in the first two. But against the wind is a bit of a, that's yeah, the question no, mark. It's, it's a definitely, but let's see opportunity here for the Kalen. Now they want to carry, but further out. So the ball comes it, out. Yeah, down the back line. There's men over on the outside. Bit of a wayward pass and collected by outside center Dylan Julius for RTS. Here he gathers. Counter ruck by the Kalen and ball knocked on at the breakdown. Coach Avile Shuba not happy with his charges at the moment. Not securing the breakdown ball. Yeah, so you guys watching at home, make sure you subscribe to our channel that you can see a lot more action Later on, there's club rugby as well in the ball line, as well as Western Province. Let's see. Down the line here for the Kalen. Are they going to run it? A no looker there. Big, big, big defense on the outside. Is it going to be a turnover ball? The referee on his whistle saying, what's he going to show? Not sure why the penalty is there. But opportunity here for the Kalen to get out of their own half. So seeing there's just a, a hold up in play. Oh, it seems like there's a, a injury to one of the players. Oh no, it seems like they just needed a toucher. So the game has been on for a couple of minutes and the referee only somebody's realizing dead, now somebody's that dad just popped up there and just took that spot. That is no toucher. 
nonetheless a line out scrappy line out win there for the Kalen. they do secure their ball ball goes out to the fly off who gives a wayward pass and a kick through by ITS a chase that's on oh it's a kick for a kick a lot of soccer there a very interesting decision there just want to see what the referee is going to say he's given the ball to RTS Balvo but yeah there was opportunity for yeah, RTS yeah there was definitely advantage for them to play so referee just bringing the game back giving the scrum to RTS game that's really just not finding its rhythm finding its momentum very very stop start to fair But now a scrum feed for RTS Caleb Berries. He'll feed the scrum and he'll collect. He'll give and Smith, he cuts the line, he dummies. Go and go. And he makes good meters. Berries gets the ball again. Oh, he passes for his forwards and Unfortunately, a ball that gets knocked by Liema Mai. He couldn't hold on to that one. I beg your pardon. It's Tavonga Bison that couldn't hold on to that one. After good momentum was made by Smith on the far side touch. So another scrum being called and the Kalen putting the ball, they go backwards, but picked up well by the Eitzman. And he, in return, makes very good meters. So the Kalen bring the ball out to the back. Player that wasn't expecting the pass. Yeah, no, so a ball that gets fumbled. But the ref says, Ruck was formed. So no infringement allowed, no contest allowed once the ruck is formed Sahati is giving a free penalty away yeah Thelo, as you said a very stop start affair um it almost looks like the players aren't switched on at times just passing to somebody not expecting the ball and um so there's a lot of kicking in the wrong areas and the wrong type of kick guys just kicking the ball but not looking up and, and trying to find space so it'll be interesting to, to hear what the coaches has to say about off time. Um, and let's see if that was the plan or if the guys can get back to the original game plan. Now Kalen going for a full line out, not winning the ball. So RTS now have an opportunity, but a good counter rack from the Kalen. But referee says in from the side was also, the player also from... Also a lot of penalties in this game, fella. From the Kalen. Oh, ball not finding touch. Kept alive and the Kalen get and they kick to the open side. Ball that's allowed to bounce by RTS, but he comes, he steps, is Smith. And the ball that's cleaned quite quickly, but the referee says Rack was formed. So contest was legal. But ladies and gentlemen, if you find yourselves at a Kalen, you'll see that. But that's beg your part. If you find yourself at RTS, you'll see that there's a bit of primary school rugby going on here as well. There's women's rugby that's about to take place in a couple of minutes. So really a, a great day for rugby for all ages and all genders, which is lovely to see and well organized by RTS Belvo. But now five men line out for the Kalen. They go for the back ball. It's step back. Ball comes out to the center. Place the fly off. He doesn't know. Look to the winger and the winger decides to give the ball back as a donation to RTS Belleville. Yeah, I tell her, I see the fly off likes his no lookers. He likes to carry it up. But they're playing in the wrong areas of the field. So yes, there's a bit of wind, but 
at least get the ball into kick space and then put uh, chase line pressure on them. Yeah, these youngsters still need to learn about game management and territory and position. So you can excuse them for trying things and Referee Refere quick on his whistle there, a player safety is very important. But the player says, Mr. Ref, I'm fine. I just wanted to see um, yeah, if there's a lot of mud on the grass or whatever, but they're happy with that. And the referee says, okay, we can continue with the scrum. Yeah, player safety is so important, especially in the scrum. Because yeah, there's so much weight being put on these young players there. So scrum being reset in the favour of RTS. Uh, referee playing his whistle. You will have a chat with both sets of front rowers, getting their discipline right, so that we can have a much, much more stable scrum. So Berries, he'll look to feed the scrum. But once again, the referee blows his whistle, asking for the forge to reset properly. But a scrum that's reset and player that comes out is Joshua Smith with a strong carry, cleaned well by RTS. A forward pass there that's missed by the referee. But ball that's brought out again. Yeah, Hooker, Athlu Metoyana with a very strong carry upfield. Ball that comes back to the blind side. But very good counter up and rightfully so a penalty to the Kalen. Player on the ground playing the ball. Hati is just losing the shape a bit. Yeah, the players, the players are not in the pods, they're not supporting one another. There was a lot of space and opportunity for Hati is. But clearly, uh, yeah, just getting the ball to the wrong player. But well done for the Kalen. A uh, good counter arc there. Uh, exiting out of the 22. And now let's see if they can play in the half of RTS. But I think JP's shape and system is, at this level, is really killing the game. It's tough, yeah. It, it takes away decision making, it takes away instinct, mm. because players are playing towards a pattern. Mm and not what they're seeing in front of them. So I think the opportunity for Artes was still to go same side Correct. over there instead of coming back. And then they could have found themselves maybe with five points on the board. Because what we also see here is whoever receives the ball, uh, the support players are not assisting at the breakdown. So you need to, as we call it, play towards the ball. So well identified there by the Kalen. But here's a turnover in the lineup. Opportunity for RTS. Let's see, they look animated. But maybe too animated, Thurlow, just grabbing there on the ball. But Revery coming back for penalty advantage on the high tackle. And he gives an extra 10 for the Kalen kicking the ball away. So again, ill discipline playing its part. And RTS going for, going for the scrum off of this penalty. So they seem like they have a plan. It's a ball that will be fed here by Beres. Picked up by his eighth man. Coming to fly off the fly off. But there are too many infringements and penalty again. The referee says, opportunity here for Artis Bell with the captain. Doing very well this afternoon. Strong carry going forward. There's opportunity on the outside. I Loads of guys Toyani. over. They play the pods, as you said, Thurlow. They stick to that structure. But is it going to help them? 
Strong carry once again there by the, the seven Bison Doing with very the carry well. there. Are they going to play same side? They're getting the ball out wide. Still there by the inside center. That is Erasmus. Well done there by the five, Mr. Abbott. But he gets taken back. back. Opportunity still here on the outside. That's the eighth man. Doing very well there. That's Smith. Yes, men are plenty on this side, but nobody's nominating for the ball. Still, guys, over on the outside. Deciding he doesn't want to pass. He'd rather want a double roll. Referee says it's fine. Counter act, but that's from the side. Still opportunity here, Bison. And it's still Bison. Getting rid of it. Bison from Street Fighter. It looks like it. Referee says, no, 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 let's come back. Is he going to tap and go? Koyana. Koyana. The Kaelin not 10. So penalty advantage. Fellow, surely they need to capitalize here. Paul struggling to get that ball out. There's Perish. A lot of guys parking there at the breakdown. But ball lost. Unfortunately. In contact, but the referee brings him back for the penalty, not 10. Joshua Smith with the ball at his feet. He taps. Is he over? He's short. Ball again lost. By RTS. Yeah, RTS fellow. really not using the opportunities in the first opportunities, half. Opportunities. This should be the last play of the first half. See how good is as well to Curtis Beekers for organizing the day. Him and his team today. He had RTS Bauble. Um, very important that we get these youngsters exposure and then Pursuit Electrics for sponsoring the day. Thank you, thank you very much. Scrum fed by the Kalen. Ball that's put in. Kick that's put up. And fine touch. So ATS really can't complain. They've had more than enough opportunities in this game to get points on the board. Scoreboard still 0-0. So line out that very scrappy. But ATS that regathers but knocked by the scrum off. But the referee goes back for advantage at the line-out. The Kalen closing the gap in the line-out. The captain, it's him, Zulani. He carries well, he's been carrying well. Pass going through the legs, through the hands, through everything. RTS. More than enough possession in this game, but not coming away with any points, but they carry. That is Joshua Smith with the carry. Ball comes out to Bison, but Bison knocks the ball. But the referee eventually blows his whistle. After Bison that knock. taking his eyes off the ball there. So scrum ball to the Kalen. Just a stoppage in play. 
bit of blood for six flanker Franklin Solomons so he'll just get treated by the medic while his replacement comes on utility back with Ronaldo Samson on the field so there should be just two minutes left before the end of this first half RTS really throwing away all opportunities but very good clearance from inside centre for the Kalen. So RTS again. A line out 24 metres out. They go for the five man. Lineouts are thrown by RTS and one. Oh, and they play it out wide. They play it to center. Niazi Rasmus. Now they go same side. Through their lock. Relevant Ebot for RTS. Here, space out wide. If they can get the ball out wide. Oh, another knock. Now by Erasmus. And the referee blows his whistle for half time. So the score is still 0 0 at the end of the first half in this under 16A encounter. But we'll be back for the second half and hoping for a couple of more points on the scoreboard when we come back.
and we are back for the second half of this under 16A encounter between RTS Belleville and the Kalen High School. Scoreboard still reads zero points for both sides. And uh, the Kalen will be kicking off in the second half. As we just wait for the referee. Yeah, a good day so far. We've had two two showers of, of, of rain that uh, nearly sent the people home, but everybody's still here. The sta stands is full, the standing area is full. A lot of old boys and old girls of both schools are out here today. Parents are here supporting their kids. So let's get the second half underway. Kalen off. Kick off short. But a ball that's getting played by RTS. So they don't want to scrum, they want to play. Playing against the wind in the second half. So that's Bison. Bison carries well. Gets over that vantage line. Ball comes out to Captain and Hooker. He needs two men to bring him down. But ball that's available, Berries that gets the ball out to his flower. Outside center of RTS that's get tackled. But retains the ball well for his side. But again, that man, Captain Courageous, Aslume Koyana, that carries well, but ball that gets to fullback. Didn't see a lot of ball towards the end of the of the first half, did Smith? So RTS, very good ball retention. The Kalen very bunched on defense. So ball that comes out. And the captain always looking to carry, keeping three, four defenders busy. And ball that comes out, Berries with a pass. Ball that is close to the touchline and yeah, eventually does go out of touch. Hart, yes. Taking the ball there through the six, seven phases, making good yardage, but eventually losing the ball. Yeah, no, definitely, Thurlow. Um, we can see. Hati is as good in 10 carrying the ball, but obviously very important. The touchline never ever misses a tackle. And we could see that there. So let's see what the Kalen can do with this opportunity. They need to exit. They retain the ball, but Hati is. Yeah, Hati is taking that ball, but end up losing it anyway. So five man line out for the Kalen. Oh, they lose the ball, they knock the ball. So picked up well by four lock of RTS Fabiano Bianchi. Ball that's carried up nicely by RTS. Oh, there's an overlap, there's numbers. He steps inside, does Niaz Erasmus. Can Artius eventually come away with points? Smith gets, oh, but the referee says ball knocked by Smith. So Artius just not controlling the tempo enough to look after the ball. So scrum ball for the Kalen. Arti is just not controlling the ball enough, controlling the phases, playing the right options, I should speak. So ball that comes out, 
Smith allowing the ball to bounce. He look for opportunity, but penalty for RTS. RTS really being the team that's put down the most pressure. So the ball carried by their captain, Hooker. Abu Yile and he scores, and that's the first points for the first half, for the second half, for the game. I beg your pardon. So very well done by the hooker and captain of RTS. Just waiting for the kicker to get the tee. Yeah, unfortunately not being able to get that conversion, Thurlow. But it's points on the board. RTS, they capitalizing on the opportunities. Coaches on the field, making sure the boys execute the plan. First game, we see the under-14s of RTS coming through. Second game, under-15s, RTS coming through. And now, once again, it looks like the under-16s, they are ahead and they're capitalizing on the opportunities. Yeah, so scoreboard reads five points to zero in favor of the home side. And now the Kalen with the kickoff, and it's that man, Bison, with a strong carry from the kickoff, collecting the kickoff. And now RTS looking to play in the right areas, kicking that ball downfield. Replacement on the field there, number 22, kicking that ball. Carter, Rake is number 22. So now, oh, De Kalen looking to run, but knocking the ball on in the process. The captain of RTS, he is having a stormer. He's playing all over. He's putting pressure on. He's putting his body on the line. He's carrying well. Leading he's by really, example. There we go. Really, really leading by example. A man to look out for. So yeah, a couple of old boys here this afternoon. We can definitely see they're coming to watch the action. Um, it's a big job here, Thurlow, for the men of this area. A lot of, lot of boys from the Kells River area that attend RTS Belleville and their mates are at the Kalen. But a ball that's knocked on there yep. by the Kalen. By RTS, I beg your pardon, so opportunity. That's gone a begging by RTS. So scrum ball to Kalen. Still scrum ball to Kalen. They got to put some points on the board. They behind, so they're chasing the game. Are they away side? Got a scrum that's put under pressure, but referee says scrumming in yeah, very from interesting RTS. Call, eh? Very interesting call. But they don't have much of an angle here unless they've got a left footed kicker. Let's see. I don't think no, so. They don't. They give it to their inside center. Big boot. Let's see what he can do. So very interesting comment here. Um, parents telling the boy, don't eat before you go play. Oh. It's a bit tough out there. Uh, like they say in Afrikaans, he might need to be a circle. But he's still with his own bait. It's a sack hard to tell him. So full line out here for the men in green. They love this animated movement, but it's working for them. They get that ball, they set them all. 
And it's a very good shot by the Kalen. Penalty advantage for the men in green. And they peel away. So they'll play the advantage. It's doing really well to cover the spaces, but the Kalen still with ball in hand, but met well on defense. JP, something we noticed yeah, through no. all these games, Ati is really defending well. But the only opportunities that Kalen have is when they get through the middle. When they go wide, they're always under pressure because there's a lot of line speed. They're closing the space to men from RTS and in this condition still, it's very difficult to attack. So now the Kalen not, not sure which way to go or where to go. There we see number 20 of RTS on the field. Caleb Edwards on the wing for RTS. And again, a big hit. Put in a double tackle, driving the man backwards. But here, the Kalen find an opportunity. There's an overlap, but the ref says forward pass, unfortunately. Matello, instead of just drawing and passing, they're going for the lob passes and the loop passes. And they are their own worst enemy at the, at the moment. The score is 5 0. For what is Bavel, the Kalen having opportunities, but they can't do the basics, they can't execute the basics. Yeah, I think coaching staff of the Kalen will feel very disappointed with their players with the execution. I, I wouldn't say the players can't execute, I just think they're not executing the their fundamentals, their basics on attack. Do you think I the, think the, the is just putting ball? them under a lot of pressure with the wet ball. Do you ball. think the wet ball plays a massive and role here? Just forcing them to make those errors on attack. Scrum opportunity here. Very sweet the scrum. Ball is coming out, good left footed kicking there. Great kick. Great kick. Thalo, if they had the rules here, it would have been a 50 22. Almost there. Quick uh, throw in there by the Kalen. Uh, they up the tempo, but unfortunately, the referee is pulling them back. So, Carter Reik coming on the field. Carter, you say, eh? And he using looks his. like Dan Carter there. <laughs> using his left boot. And really turning the Kalen, forcing him to play from their own 22 meter. But what he did while as well, Thurlow, he looked to the other side and then he just turned his body and kicked it into space. They didn't expect that. So scramble for RTS. Seems like the throw was taken inside the field. Yep. So again, another coach killer by the Kalen team, not really. Behind themselves any favor in this game. With well, the score already behind 5 0. They've just got they've got everything to play for. And yeah, Atias, they pick up, they go blind, but high tackle there. Not spotted. No, oh, it is spotted by the referee. And that's well Alume well Koyana done. for his second try. And that's well Alume. Done. Well Koyana done. for his second try. Well done. For RTS. But tell her if there's one guy that deserved to get on the scoreboard, it was definitely, definitely Captain Courageous going over the try line, putting his team on the board once again, 10 points to zero. Let us know at home what do you think about that piece of action? And then is the Kalen going to come back in this game? Do they have the capacity to score, come back to win this game? Or will it be all RTS? Let us know in the comments.
comes forward, he strikes it. The referee says no. That conversion is not successful. 10 points to 0. To the home side, Hatties Balvo. Thank you for tuning in, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure that you subscribe on our channel. Share the link with your community, friends and family. So that they can catch the action this afternoon. There will be some club rugby action as well on Club Rugby Live. The Kalen here with a deep kick in. <coughs> Gathered there. Strong carry by the eighth man. He also did really well this afternoon. Always coming over that vantage line. Captain Courageous. Man of strong the match. Strong carry. Definitely, definitely strong carry. For there. RTS. The substitute doing very well there. It is Edwards. But it was a scrappy affair. But touches his yeah. foot. Opportunity to throw the ball in the line out. Thello, just watch the movement from the back to the front. It's going to come. Watch out for this. That's the setup. That's the set piece. You're going to see it. It's coming. Here we go. Oh, but ball just lost. Not getting the ball back. So Bison. turn of a ball for RTS. Out Edwards. Down the line. Almost losing his head there. The ball is still available. Are they still going to play? The referee says no. Yeah, Let's come back to the knock on. Just shoveling the ball around. Not really looking after it. Or taking care of it. But JP, it seems almost as if the wind is changing direction a bit. Mm. Swirling a bit. If you can maybe see on the far side of the field, there's Postman's Dam High School versus, it's actually Fairburn College, I beg your pardon, versus Hartius Belleville's female team. Female team. So quite nice that the girls also getting an Very opportunity on a Saturday. Very don't have a lot of females in the school, so well done to them. But there's opportunity here, it's Carter. He puts it on the boot. Oh, but collected nicely by the player from the Kalen, but also met nicely in defence. But the referee calling them back. Saying offside on the kick, I think just signalling wrong there is the referee. So the Kalen getting an opportunity here, kicking for touch, getting a line out five meters from the try line of RTS. So can they make use of this opportunity? Watch for the movement, Ella. Oh, and RTS, they win it. And ball comes to the captain, Abu Yile. So referee has to go where the ball was dotted down. So again, scrum, scrum ball for the Kalen. So what can the Kalen come up with now? They five meters out. Ball gets fed. RTS put the shove in. But the Kalen, they pick it up. So they're going to play. Oh, player just losing his footing there and he's held up. Very important passage here for Thurlow for the Kalen, eh? Very much. And now, ball comes out again. The Kalen looking to play same side. But ball 
knocked. The referee says coming off the foot. But looked after well by the Kalen. They've got to use this ball well now. They've got to get an opportunity. And the referee says, well, offside. So he calls them back. But he gives a double blow. And he scratches in his pocket. Very and that's a yellow. Very, very interesting call. It's the Joshua Eichmann. Smith. Yep. He gets yellow carded. And here the Kalen go on the run. And it's that man. Strong carry here by the Kalen. There's men over on the outside. But a massive, 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 massive double hit there by the men from Hatties Bravo. Opportunity here for the Kalen. Let's see if they can recycle quickly. Getting the ball out on the outside. There's still men over. But massive defense. Good line speed. The referee calls him back for the penalty. Now he digs in his pocket again. And that's a second yellow. Wow. Wow. For RTS, it looks Very like aggressive, yeah. outside center Dylan Julius that gets a yellow. 13 men. Patello, very interesting. Now the Kalen kicks the ball out. So let's see if they can do that same line out, and hopefully, I'm not sure. They probably want to look at the more. Yeah, interesting decision. But our TS have lost a forward and a back. So it's actually the full back of our TS, Giovanni Smith. Yep. With a yellow card. So there the Kalen with a skew throw. Ball not gathered. Very interesting. I'm sure that uh, yellow card is five minutes on this level and not ten. But uh, referee calls them back for scrum for knock-on infringement. So as we're coming to the close of this under 16 encounter where RTS are leading 10 points to zero. I hope you guys are nice and warm at home or wherever you're watching it from. If you're in the car, waiting for your parents in the mall. Strong scrum by RTS, but picked up nicely by the Kalen, but then lost. But opportunity still there for the Kalen. Can he make it all the way? And he does. The big inside center from the Kalen gets the five-pointer. Well deserved for the young man. He's been one of the star players for this, the Kalen on the 16 side. So score that reads. 10-5. Well, also the crowd getting involved here. Crowd getting very animated. Song starting to play. Kicker takes the kick. But he misses. So score reads 10-5. So Hati is playing still with 13 men on the field with the two yellow cards. Probably two or three minutes left. Max in that in that yellow card. Opportunity here for the Kalen, let's see. So they say that the one card was a red and one was a yellow. Wow. So the Kalen speeding up the game, taking their penalties quick. RTS really having to look at their discipline in the second half. Otherwise, this game could be taken away from them. The Kalen with all the momentum, all the ascendancy in the second half. Again, full line out well, for the men from Kells River, but tapped back by RTS and Captain Courageous cleans it up. Now, 
The man from Italy, Mr. Fabiani, with the carry. Penalty advantage for RTS. Carter right with the ball. Looking to put on a bit of razzle dazzle. He has all the tricks in the book, does the youngster. And now it comes back to that captain, Avuyile. Ahlume, sorry, beg your pardon. But taken back there as a reserve. I think, yeah, fellow, uh, RTS would like to slow the game down, kick it out, that the yellow card can come back at least. Seems like time is up in this one. Carter right gets the ball and he kicks it out. And that's the ball game. So that's the ball game. 10 points to 5. RTS take that one. Mr. Bison doing his thing there. And there you can see the excitement in the players. Going for... Dives in the dam. But a well-deserved victory, I would say, for RTS. Although the Kalen came back strongly in the second half. But ladies and gentlemen, that's it for... The under 16A encounter between RTS. Yeah, no, definitely Thurlow. Uh, RTS taking that one. I think well deserved. Discipline. Uh, a bit tough at the end there, but I think most of the game they dominate. And as you said, the man of the match, the captain courageous, he scored the winning try for RTS. So, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be back soon with the second team game. Stay tuned. Make sure that you share the link with your friends and family as well as subscribing to Club Rugby Live.
Are we on? <laughs> Something a connection here. Yeah. One, two, one, two. One, two. Okay, add. Dames and heren, ons is hier so technische goeikies as uit die heer Kutus Beekes, sê gaf ons het baie ure ingesit, hard probeer om al die die skoolse waarde by te voeg en die gemeenskap te help. Eerstens, hoe voel jy oor die dag so ver? Saipie, ja, eerstens wil ek jy sê dankie sê vir al die borgen wat het mogelijk gemaakt het, besoet elektriks, ons Selby Transport en Suzaan wat allemaal ingestem het, besoet wat die dag vir die livestreaming en dit Daar moet ik eerst net zeggen dank je voor. Dan voor die dag zet er nog. Je kan nou zien die crowd is hier. Dus is is great als je weer eens aan moet spelen. Geloof is al bij beter geweest het, maar ons ons is tevreden. Kunt u zeggen voor die mensen bij de is dit wat is jouw rol hier zo bij het eerste babbel? Oké, zo dan zeg ik hier die rugby coördinator en dan zeg ik hier eerst van wolfafrichter en zo al dat hier zien is net wat ons ingezet het om die cultuur aspect weer terug te brengen. Zo zeg ik vroeger in die jaren samen gaan praten so dat die dinge kan gebeur vir ons kinders. Kut is great, sal sê gewoon net vluchtig. Ede geluk, die resultaat is hoe ver die jaar vir julle min of meer gegaan, die mense wat nou nog nie vir julle gesik het die, laat julle weet wat om te vraag vir marig. Saipie, ons het, soos ek jou vroeger in die jaar gesê het, ons het gewerk met een 5 jaar plan, ons is nou by jaar 5. Hierdie seisoen is nou goed afgeloop, soos die laatste week het ons gespeeld in Primrose's, en ons het vir hulle daarom gewen 73-3, die week voor die, of die wedstrijd voor die was, president wat ons 53-0 gewen het en het is al mal net in die week voor hy gewen, so ons kom op een baie goeie winning streak af, maar het is derby dag, enig is kan my wacht word so kut is eens derby dag so het kan weer 53-5 wees so ons gaan kyk maar, maar kut is bekers baie dankie vir die werk wat jy inzit vir die gemeenskap, vir die borgen wat aan boord gekom het en sterk die meneer rest van die dag, nou kan jy lekker jou manne gaan uitsorteer uit detail recht kry want het gaan oor alles oor die eerste span in die derby, dankie zypie Baie, baie dankie, en ons nou nou terug met die tweede span aksie, kut is bekers, baie dankie. And we are back for the second team encounter between the Kalen and RTS. Just running through the starting lineup for RTS from fullback. We've got Aldo with Charles, 14, Sange Netle, Kaden Jorgens on 13, Dolan Abrams on 12, Storm Frieslaar on the left wing, Kewan Delport on fly off, Bradwin as Vanito Extien on 8, Beren Weiss on 7. Liam Matthews 6, Rooney Daniels on 5, Seth Africa on 4, Lock Liam Jonkers, Tighthead Prop, Montele, Moke, Eruka and Jaden Kepira on loose head prop. And it's Hatties that kicked off and started proceedings. Hatties playing from left to right on your screens. So the Kaila now with the ball, they play it out to the fly-off, they give it to their big man but he is met well in contact by Rooney Daniels, five lock of Artius Belville that meets him with a big hit and then forces him to lose the ball. So Artius with their intentions clear in this second team game. Home team doing well so far in all three fixtures this morning. Winning the under 14A game, winning the under 15A game as well as winning the under 16A game. But now Artyas have the ball being put under pressure at scrum time, but playing a nice kicking game is Artyas. And the error made by the Kalen, so scrum five meters out again, no touches on the field in this game. Thank you. 
So now five men line out for RTS. They go middle, set well. Ball taken up. Ball given to 12. Center Diolan Abrams. But he's met well in contact. They come back to the blind side. To the hooker. Montele Moke. He looks after the ball. But they go open side now and ball that's knocked. By Van they kick long. So here's space for RTS. Ball that's brought back inside by winger Sange Netle. I'm sure they just got their numbers wrong. I think that's Storm. Frisla in the 14 jersey. But it's RTS that carry now through their tight head prop, Liam Jonkers. Fellow, you can, you can clearly see the difference between a second team, the guys are looking at opportunities, they come, playing the ball into space, not running outside the touchline, so you can really expect a good match here. Yeah, I think there's the Kalen team a lot more settled, a lot more physical, a lot more confrontational. So let us see if they can bring it to the party. So they kick their penalty to touch. And now find themselves on their 10 meter with a line out. Hooker being given a brand new ball with a lot of grip. So let's see if he can find his jumper. The five man, the go to for the Kalen. Same line out here. And contested well by RTS, but not gathered well. Fellow, it's very interesting with that line out. They have movement from the back, but there's space in the middle of the line out as well. So let's see if they're going to utilize that space going forward. Yeah, I think JP gets himself very much animated. Obviously, coaching at a higher level. You look. And if they can get the basics right, then they'll look for like that. Yeah, I'm a Vatse Ian is it where is one? Another scrum opportunity here for the Kalen. I'm not, not stable there under pressure of the men from the Kalen. So let's reset that scrum again and see if the Kalen can launch from this scrum. All that's been put in. But the referee says knee down by the tight prop of RTS. So penalty awarded to the Kalen. So they'll look to find touch. But now you'll see the underfoot conditions starting to play a role here now. Yeah, a lot more mud at play in this in this game. But now, six man line out. For the Kalen. Again, contested well by RTS, but regathered by the Kalen. So they get a bit of front football in the half of RTS. They play a pot of nine, but again, met very, very well and forced into a knock on error in the tackle. Yeah, you can see um, 
the ATS Bible Boys very animated. You can see there's a lot of hype. They they trying also just to absorb the pressure. But it'll be interesting to see again if they can get out of the, this half and keep the ball. But the Kalen, a lot of unforced errors. They have the opportunities, but they're just not executing. They are being put under a lot of pressures, the team from the Kalen. So scrum ball for RTS. As you can hear, the scholars of RTS on the stands getting their voices heard. But ball comes out and oh, comes off the side of the boot of the fly off for RTS. Q and Talport, he won't be happy with that one. No. It, was, it was good play, very good play, but just the execution of the kick. Not going too well there. So a line out again for the Kalen in the half of RTS. Six man line out again, the go to. They jump in the middle, but balls collected at the back. So good meters made off that line out. Although it never went to plan, but ball just a bit too slow. Comes out to the fly off. He plays his center. He goes back to the traffic. He beats two, three players and sets it up nicely. The Kaler now inside the 22 of RTS. They'll play to their left. They go same side. RTS with strong defense from Rooney Daniels. So now the Kalen come again. Oh, and a ball that's fumbled. So turn of a ball for the home side. They'll look to exit. Scrum off, kicks a box kick, but not gathered properly. There. But yeah, referee. Yeah, referee saying that you can't drag the guy on the ground, you must leave him. Just taking control of action there. Discipline, discipline, discipline. Uh, so Caroline Ari is watching the game from the hospital bed. Uh, yeah, I really hope you recover well. If you can get back to normality there. Titan Smart, you want to see the people on the pavilion? We'll see now. It's, it's a bit difficult because yeah, our scaffolding and the rain and stuff. So sorry Titan. I can't assist you with that today. Just waiting for the ball. The Kayla not doing too bad at line out time. Mm. Albeit a bit scrambled. Okay, yeah. So let's see now again going for the six man. This time a seven man line out. Artis contest in front and they win it. So ball that again comes out, oh but lost forward by RTS, so the Kalen really applying the pressure and getting a, a scramble in return. The Rangers coming down here a bit. Coming and going, coming and going. Don't think it will last too long, because with this strong southwesterly wind, it will just push the rain away. So the Kaelin now with a good opportunity, good scrum opportunity inside the 22 of RTS. Strong scrum from RTS, they get the tight hit, but ball that's played out to the wing. 
He takes on his opponent. Keeps the ball alive, but again, silly penalty given away. Dragging the player on the ground to try and get him out to touch. But fellow, it's, it's taken team, it's a lot of these guys, their final game, three ghost things. So Ati is being pinned in there off for the majority of this first half. And they are the team playing with the win. Is it because of ill discipline? Yeah, that, that definitely. But the score is still 0 0 in this second team game. But their lineup for RTS. Hooker throwing over his jumper, but gathered well by Jaden Cupido. But a pass that's just too strong for tight hit prop Liam Jonkers, and Opportunity they lose the ball. Game. And oh, but met really well in defense. Montel Mock putting in a big hit on one of the players of the Kalen, but they'll go back for the scrum. So I think it's the ball retention just not good enough. And you can't blame the ball this time because it's a new ball, fella. It's got grip. Brand new ball. The Gilbert side is still brand new. So I think just a bit of patience, a bit of composure. I think Ati is being starved of ball in the first half. So the boys are just impatient when they do get some ball. And to play with. But they opt for the cross kick. Not a bad option, but just not executed properly. So they'll come back. The schoolboys are a lot of side shows here. Front of the crowd. They want to chat about it tonight and on Monday. They must just focus on the basics. You can see. Not sure if you guys can see, but it looks like RTS goals. They won their game oh, against yeah. Busman's Dam. So they're coming up in high spirits. But we turn our attention back to the second team game. And hands in the ruck is the call. And penalty goes the way of the Kalen High School. But yeah, let us know in the comments where you are tuning in from. Who's your favorite player? It's the second. Who's going to win? It's 0-0. Zero, zero. And almost building up, building up for the big one. After this, under 13A clash. Labians versus 4-2. And, and then just after that one, the big one. The Derby, the first team's play under 19A. So it seems like the Kalen have a bit of variation in their lineouts. Mm. Going now for the five men. That's the variation they have there. Dummy back. Back into the traffic. And they win their ball, but scrum off under a lot of pressure <coughs> as he receives the ball. As you can hear, the Artis girls just coming from their victory. They celebrating still. <laughs> Meanwhile, the game is on. Scrum off <coughs> from the Kalen with a sneaky. Grab a kick. <coughs> yeah, no opportunity here yeah. for Artis putting the ball on the foot. Is it going to bounce? Well collected there at the back. Full back of the Kalen. Another opportunity here for the Kalen to get the ball back. There's men over on the outside, but they're going to carry it by the bigger winger. Running into traffic there. Beating two guys. The referee says not held. He can play. But he seems to have a player yeah, injured out injured there. at the back. 
seems like his shoulder scrum off of the Kaler not not keen to make the long passes always looking for contact but now the Kaelin going backwards not really making much meters but they come out with the ball they go for the kick oh fly off for RTS losing the ball but the referee brings them back for the scrum so the Kalen really playing in all the right areas. Yeah, the Kalen doing all the playing. And they're also, as far as we know it, they're playing against the wind fellow. So not too sure if the wind has turned. Ball comes out, oh they do a 10-12-6, do the Kalen back into the traffic, but a ball that's lost, but Refus says Lucy's not bound at the scrum for RTS. Oh, ill discipline, are they going to go for points? Decision time now for the Kalen, oh, but they up for poles, so they want the three points. So fly off for the Kalen lining up his kick. Looking to see if he can add the extra two points. Yes. And he slots it. Or oh, is RTS is gonna come back? Sati is going deep with the kickoff. Ball knocked backwards, says the referee. <coughs> Opportunity here for Sati is Ball going down the back line. There's men over. Can he make it? Is he going to draw and pass? Will he go all the way? Oh, what a tackle. Great, great, great try saving tackle there. Good carry by the left wing. He looked like a slap chips there, fellow. Yeah. Old running, long legs, but great defense at the end of the free slot, not having enough weight over for RTS. Yeah, well done by the backs of RTS to actually get that ball out wide. Give their winger an opportunity to take on his defender. Now to Kalen. Line out five meters from their try line. So they've got to get it right. They go for the back ball. Thrown over. Picked up nicely. Here's an opportunity now for Artis. Tackler's got a roll out there. They pick and drive. Back ball on your own try line. Oh. The golden rule. Oh. So after opening their scoreboard with three points. They close the scoreboard again. They concede five <laughs> points and JP, they proved you wrong. They didn't want to lead long in this game. <laughs> Score now reads five points to three in favor of the home side, RTS Balvo. Referee calling for water and a conversion that's successful. So, scored it seven points to three. 
Mati is coming back. Interesting fellow the ref asking for water, but water is coming for free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Receive it. It's just got to look up to the heavens. <laughs> so the Kalen taking their time now. Waiting for half time it seems. But let's see, still a couple of minutes to go before the end of the first half. So the Kalen set themselves up. They kick to their right, but ball that goes to the middle. Oh, ball that's fumbled, but Revs is backwards. Oh, but good kick. Identifying space and getting the kick downfield. <coughs> 10 meters. On the 10 meter of the Kalen. Conditions is wet, but let's see. RTS for the five man line out. It's actually, it's the Kalen's ball. Ah. Referee says, give it to them. Sure, they're going to have that movement again. Not five. Oh, five. but met well. Not five. Well done, Mr. Ref. In defense. That ball not going five. Ati is showing really good physicality. Some nice uh, Poland uh, songs being sung here yeah? in the stand. Spreading like wildfire, uh, fellow. So scrum feed RTS. Ball that comes out, passes just not sticking, but regathered eventually. RTS playing out in the wider channels. Elder Quinn, Charles takes the ball up, but RTS losing the ball in the breakdown. So turnover to Kalen. The Kalen use their forwards to truck it up, taking it up. Fly off deep in the pocket, going for distance. But Artius seem to have the right players in position. He's got five guys, he's got five guys next to him, but he decides to make a U turn. Yeah, big, big coach killer there. Player following his own instincts in that moment, but his instincts led him the wrong way and gifting an, an opportunity to the Kalen. Not much time left in the first half. Middle scrum. Options. 3-3 three, three split. It's a tight head coming out here on the side of RTS. Big handoff, getting the ball out there to the flyer. What is he going to do? He's putting up the rack. Opportunity now again. Great box kick there by Azur. Oh, but, but direct. Unfortunately, unfortunately, he identified the space, but execution not there. Another liner for the Kalen. Great pressure being applied, especially in front. Party is. They're opting for the four man now. Oh, 
Very interesting. All the teams in the KLN has the same line, of course. No, nope, they're adding in the five men again. Oh, they go. Five. Oh, but he loses the ball. So, Pelle, you can play the ball there, but it has to go five. Very important. Also, a lot of banter between the two sides. Opportunity here for ATS to put the ball in. Strong carry there by the number eight. It's Xtian. Carry there by the loose head. It's Kipido. Ball lost in contact. Once again. Scrum the Kalen to put the ball in. Kalen to put the ball in this time. Free kick. Interesting, a ref allowing him to take it there. Guy slipping. Ball available for the Kalen, putting it on the foot. What are they going to do at the back? RTS! Great attack there, they still have the ball. Ball still available. Strong carry, but also strong defense there. Are they going to keep him up? What does the referee say? Ripped in the tackle. Ball available for the Kalen. Just taking it up, massive contact there by the open side flanker. It's base. Down the back line of the Kalen. Opportunity for a counter ruck here. Offside advantage now being played. Yeah, definitely, guys are so busy. Argy Bargy there. Coming out on the side of the Kalen. Referee said no. Penalty advantage, let's go for the penalty. The Kalen going for the quick tap and there. High tackle from seven flanker. It's pace. There's and he'll receive his marching there. orders. Yeah, the Kalen carrying it up. Playing with their forwards. Getting it out there. Floating pass. Cut back. One, two. Get oh, he's Kelly. through. Can he beat the last Kelly. defender? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well what a done. try. Playing the one, two. No catch up defenders. Alamone Stein and uh, Vainan Polyfield. There we go. But the Kalen back in the hunt. 
De Keile nou 8 points to 7. Definitely game on. I think that is the last play of the first half. And I think for the Kalen, what the best way to end it. Going into halftime, into the halftime break with the momentum, with the ascendancy. And they'll be having the win behind their back in the second half. And we've seen that they utilize the boot well. That's the Kalen second team. But now to see if they can add the extra two points. Uh, he pushes it to the right and short as well, and that's half time. So the scoreboard, eight points to seven at the half time break, and we'll be back with you guys in just a bit for the second half.
Well, that is assumption of the second half. A bit of raindrops falling as this game gets underway. But penalty here. Ill discipline from the home side, Artis Belleville. So the Kalen finding themselves in a good position and rightfully so with the wind. They up to go for poles as the rain starts coming down. Yeah, Artis Belleville. Just a reminder the scoreboard is. Eight points to seven as the second half starts here. Yeah. In the favor of the wayside, the Kalen High School, and they now look to extend their lead as the Rangers passes us by here. Yeah. Strike is good, but he pushes it to the right. So the scoreboard remains eight points to seven. So ITS now with an opportunity to exit against the wind. Seems like the wind is just getting stronger. So ITS kick off the Kalen receive. And the Kalen will play. And they secure their ball. How oh, they played for their forwards. Forwards tracking it up. But the referee calls a knock on there. So Hattie's ball. So the Rangers playing with us a bit, coming and going. The wind really picking up and showing its strength, just taking the rain with it. So scrum ball, Hatties, they feed, they do a little loop, fullback gets the ball under pressure and Hatties keep the ball alive, they bring it back to their forwards. Oh, they try and play it again on the short side, but ball that doesn't go to hand. Ball that's fumbled out. It's really just playing in all the wrong areas. But they played off the hooker again. Montel Mock. And he releases the ball. It gets up on his feet and plays again. Referee says it's allowed and he gets a penalty advantage. Off of that call. Oh, and Artyas wanting to play that ball out wide, but Xtian knocks the ball in the carry and play it down for Artyas as well. Yeah, Tello, I definitely think um, in this conditions you don't want to play in your own half. And yes, there is a lot of wind and um, the ball is a bit greasy, but maybe just getting the ball into space. Kicking it low, when it goes, look at the cross kicks, those type of things. Because, um, yeah, the game is on a knife edge. A lot of these boys, it will be their last derby. So they really, really want to do well. And they want to pull it through for their team. Injury now on the side of Artes.
No, they're going for touch. Oh, great touch finder. Great touch finder. Great touch finder there by ATS. Solid work there by the camera crew, Thurlow. In the conditions, camera crew is doing very well. Sticking it out in the rain. They almost blew away earlier. They almost packed up the laptop, but they're, <laughs> back, they're back in action. Through the lens, thank you for the action. But line out here for ATS Bravo. So they go for the full, full line out, full complementary. So let's see. Oh, they actually take out one of their forwards. They go for the middle ball. They win their middle ball. They set their mall. Can they go for the mall try? They're just five meters out. They get the legs pumping. They get moving. Can they get it? They get it over. Try, try time. RTS Belleville. Back in action. So, so Hati is now leading 15 points. Now, beg your pardon, 12 points to 8. With a kick to come and he just pushes it. So Ati is fighting back well in this game. So the Kalen with the kickoff, they go long. Artyas, they get. Whoa, he has a big carry coming up and he goes hard. Artyas plays same side. Fellow, I think the momentum is swinging in this game. Great kick there, finding Gross. Ball sitting in the mud and... Oh, there's pressure, there's opportunity. Can they convert this opportunity here for Artyas Belleville? Let's see, can they get the ball out? Oh, Watch he go! Just Still short of the line out. Oh, he gets it over. Another one! Great, great, great intensity. Show and go, using the opportunity. 17 points to 8. Artyas Belleville. Edwin with the score. They're here for business. They want to close it out. They want to finish their matric off on a high. Let us know in the comments what do you think about the action here this afternoon. So yeah, the Gens won't be playing the Kalen again most of the to through eight. the sticks. So 11 Same point business. lead. For the home side, really turning it on now. Yeah. In the second half, bringing the energy. But can we say it's the home crowd because the other crowd is also here, fellow, but they're quiet. Yeah, they're here to watch the game. They're not here to sing. So the Kalen kick off. They kick off to to their left, and it's a good carry there by inside center, Diolan Abrams. Ball that comes back to the second row and he loses it in contact. And the referee says no advantage, so scrum down. Looks like a substitute here on the side of RTS.
So RT is bringing in the changes. Bringing on a winger. Bringing on a lock as well. Also changing the fly off. So scramble the Kalen. Oh, they do the Mornay stain switch again. Make good meters to the Kalen. They play same side, but met well in defense by RTS. It's so a ball that's again available and taken up by the Kalen. But the ball that now goes to the fly off. Oh, they bring it back again to the middle field. This he spots a gap down the middle. Oh, here's opportunity. opportunity from the turnover for RTS. Oh, he gets the ball away. Can he draw and pass? Oh, he runs over me. He gets the offload away to his fullback, and that's try time. RTS with a try. Burn base gets the ball from the turnover. He draws, he passes to Diolan Abrams. Abrams runs over a player. And he offloads to El the weak Charles, who goes over and scores the try for RTS. JP, RTS really just turning it on in the second half. Yeah, I know. You can see the momentum swung there. All right. Momentum swung there. And RTS just carrying the ball enough, not doing too much, keeping the ball, doing enough, getting it to the guy in a better position. Well done by Pace, strong carry by the inside centre and then a great finish in the corner. Yeah, RTS, even in the wet conditions, picking the intensity up well with ball in hands, spotting that opportunity on the overlap and really putting the Kalen to the sword. So 24, 8 the scoreboard reads at the moment. And a kick to come, and oh, it looks yeah. good. Oh, short points to eight. RTS doing really, really well. But yeah, let's see if the Kalen can come back into this one. Or will it be all the home, the home team? Will it be all them? Or the Kalen going for a quick. Did I see that right? Was it a the penalty kickoff? when they when they went for the exit? Or was it a drop? It looked looked like a penalty kick. <laughs> Unfortunately, a bit too far. Another unforced error by the home side. So Ati is opting for the scrum on the halfway line. So referee just resetting the scrum, making sure he gets stability right. And the Kalen bringing on a substitute. And for those of you not watching, All Blacks leading five points to zero. Um, six minute, minutes played in that encounter. Please don't switch over. Stay with us. We've got another Bledisloe a challenge here. We'll, <laughs> we'll update you as this game goes on but now RTS with the ball strong run good carry by William Seal oh player jumping over the ruck there from the Kalen so referee goes extra 10 show and go again William Seal again with a good carry there but well met on defense and a breakdown turnover. Yeah, it's actually very interesting, Thurlow. Um, both men is on the border. I think it's Belville is on the border of Kells River. 
So they literally neighbors, neighbors, neighbors. But so far this afternoon, all the games going the way of the home team. Yeah, this is the fourth game that we've been live streaming to you guys this morning. And it will look to be the fourth game that RTS Belleville will be winning against So line out ball for the men in green. They go. They go for the four man. They go for the five man, I beg your pardon. They need to win their ball. They need to build some momentum. They go middle ball, which they win, but <coughs> high tackle there and the referee blows his whistle for that offense. So the Kalen with decisions to make now, they want to go for touch. They want to get themselves in a good territory. Very good touch finder by the Kalen. So they have to come away with points just to try and end this game off on high. But surely RTS will contest this line out. Put pressure on the men from the Kalen and win this ball back. But he's doing really well the whole afternoon in the line out contesting. Let's see if we can take this one. Oh, they tap it back and they win it. And they rumble with the forward. So things just not going the way of this. The Kalen side and Shaper, it really feels like the weekend. <laughs> both. <laughs> Definitely both. So scramble now and just an update. Seems like Australia have, have back come back. Seven points to five. Seven points to five. But ball knocked on now by Vatino Venito Extian at the base of the scrum. So handing ball back to the Kalen. We're just in the second half, JP have really not gotten any momentum to put Artius under pressure. Yeah, I know. Artius shut them out, scoring three tries in a space of 10 minutes. And that really took the game away from the Kalen. But score now 24 8. And the Kalen carry it up. They play off nine. They carry. Met well. Tackle has to release, says the referee. Ah, the Kalen trying really hard. But ball just evading. That ball carries a turnover. That's a good kick. William Z goes long. But now counter attack opportunity for the Kalen. But oh, good tackle put in by Darren Janssen, the reserve loose forward for RTS and uh, a ball that's kicked, knocked by RTS and then knocked by the Kalen. Yeah, but fellow, very interesting there, uh, the Kalen 24.8 down, full by getting the ball, he just kicks it. Doesn't want to carry, doesn't want to... Get his team back into it. So yeah, I think the Kalen has called it. Eh? Final moments in this encounter. Just stoppage in players. As there's a player injured, 
Seems to be eight minutes left in the first half, says the referee. So play resumes. Scrum is set. Big shove from RTS. But the referee says they are turning it illegally. This RTS. So decision time now for the Kalen. They took a few plays away. They are looking to go for touch. And touch is found inside the 22 of RTS. Just waiting for the ball. The Kalen looking to go for the seven man lineup. They go for the front ball, but contested really well by RTS. So that man Williams puts it on the boot down the middle into the hands of the scrum off of the Kalen and unfortunately he just kicks it out directly into touch intentions were good trying to put up a contestable but just execution not not good enough from the scrum off of the Kalen high school our line out ball for RTS. They'll look to win this and get out of there 22. A no jump in the lineup. But it just seems that there was no concentration by base was the intended recipient of that throw. And thus resulting in a scramble for the Kalen Primary High School, I beg your pardon. Scrum is set, balls put in, tight head for RTS and around counter act by the Kalen. Oh, strong and ball that gets out. Can you go all the way? Opportunity still here. Byron Miller, but off the feet at the breakdown. Uh, unfortunate there. Quick play. Is he going to kick it away? He's going to cancel oh, he, and go. Not held in the tackle, so he gets up on his feet. Steals the extra meter. Now the ball that goes out. And play that continues and RTS infringing off his feet at the breakdown, says the referee. The Kalen, the Kalen look to quick tap. The referee says not 10. Please retreat. Score still 24 points to 8. The Kalen need to score and they need to score quickly. If they want to find themselves and oh, a big busting run by the forwards of the Kalen and here yeah, they try and go again. They go same side, they come back, they find kick space, but a ball that goes a bit too far. And all he has to do is just dot it down. And referee calls full time on this game. 28. 24-8, the final score in this game between the Kalen and RTS under 19B. And we'll be back for a bit of Kalfoot rugby interview with 4 and 2 Premier School.
against Labians Primary School.
voor en toe prime, primair kicking off, but yeah, Labians go. Carry there through the eighth man. They get again. Oh, they give big carries here. to their big bulking number four lock. But ball that's slow to come out. Oh, they send it down the back line. Oh, oh, pass just not going to hand. So yeah, we saw there. Houdini, the four lock. Strong, strong, strong ball here. But let's quickly go through the Labians team. Number one is Esso. Number two, the hooker, Kipiro. Peterson, Ndomini. Spannenberg, number five. Logan, September. Rametsi, number six. Muller is seven. Muller is eight. Rametsi, seven. David Jacobs. And then the captain, Lathan Muller. The fly-off. Payne on the left wing. Kiet, Kunrad, Bailey. And Topsoro. That is the chance. From Labiaans. And four into primary, coached by Ricardo Abrams. From fullback, Marcelo Janssen. Larson, missing go. Bronson, Brandt on 13. Duvan, Fortune at 12. Levin wing, Dylan Williams. JT Ar Arendolf on fly off. BJ Solomon on 9. Logan Adams on 8. 4 4 and 2. Fabiano Ramson, 7. Joshua Horsburn on 6. Doris Makutu and Jack Meta are the second rowers. And the front rowers, Theo Williams, tight head prop, Tyler Rose Hooker, and Liwa Lam Dengelo is the loose head prop for 4 and 2. And a big scrum now by Labian's primary, but ball still retained by 4 and 2. They take it through the hands. Ball comes to 14. Larson Mizungu and he just sets up the ruck. So ball that's very slow but comes out. Oh and tackled high there is fly of JT Arendolf. Oh four and two. So the diminutive scrum of Leeds and Solomon. He takes the quick tap and they play on. And Wisco 4 and 2 play same side. It's that man again. DJ Solomons, but he loses the ball, so it's turnover for Labians. So they've got the ball. Backwards says referee. So oh, yeah, but he has an opportunity for Labians. Unfortunately, it's a knock on, but they've got big, strong forwards so uh, definitely definitely something to look out for very physical look at the big lock there number four Mdini definitely definitely a guy that we need to look out for ball coming out there For four and two. Putting the ball there. Over the winger. Labians. What does the referee say is the penalty? Penalty for four and two. Interesting. Tap and go. Cross kick there. Gathered there by the winger of Labby Hans, it's Bailey. Opportunity now for 4 and 2. Coming down the line. Strong carry there. But bigger defense from Labby Hans. So Lee Solomon, he gets, he gives to his fly off. But pass that goes forward, but still penalty. Advantage for the men from RTS.
So Are four and two, poles? deciding to go for poles. They want the three points. They want the W. Playing with the wind behind their back. So they want to get onto the scoreboard in the first half. So lining this up is JT Arendorf. Oh, and he slots it quite nicely. So that's three points for four and two primary. Well, a very interesting. Uh, no pain on the foot there. Oh, <laughs> oh. Absorbing that kick. My goodness. It through the pole. I remember we used to play with the ankle guard just to push in the blow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's see, fly off here, Miller, deep kick off there, great kick. Oh, oh, the no pressure there is the opportunity. The ice rink is busy, entry fee is free, oh, go. offside well there, there the from the one. youngster. No. Lucid oh, prop, Liwa Lam Dengalo, overly excited there. In the crowd. It's an opportunity here for Labians. Quick tap. Oh. Strong carry there by the hooker, Mr. Kipiro. Let's see if they can be patient. If they can use the opportunity. Referee says double movement. Yes, that's crawling. Not allowed. Labians will be kicking themselves. Here's another opportunity. Four and two, they go for the kick downfield. Oh! Massive carry there. Not and a lot of technique in that 15. hit. It's carefully, I'm not too sure if he is 16. Devon Fortune there going alter skelter into that tackle. No, no bend at the hips. Miller. As they would say. Kicking it out. Well educated left boot. Let's see. Line up for Labians. Look like a well structured team. See the AR is there in the field, just busy doing his business. Oh, it looks like a coach. Well done. Good front ball. Muller. The inside center, strong carry there. Ooh, he gets the ball out. Mr. Kiet. Overlap is on. They're still keeping the ball working. Leg drive. Good tackle fight there. Carrying it there to the number oh, eight. Oh, good hit. Ethan Miller. Penalty. Penalty opportunity there. For Labians. What are they going to do? Are they going to play? Will it be Jacobs? That looks like Mr. Kipido. He's gonna tap it and he's gonna go. Running into a oh. brick wall there. Jacobs getting it out to Muller. Down the back line. Cutting back there, the outside center. Yes, he's going all the way. So now 4 and 2 will have to find their way back into this game. JT Arendorf, he'll kick off. He tries to go deep. Ball that's missed there. Oh, in the puddles. But he makes his way out. Does the fly off from Labians. He keeps on going. Well done, Muller. Muller carrying strong there. Jacob seeing if he can clear the ball. Big carry there to tight end prop Peterson. The forwards dominating there. But 4 and 2 is not standing back. They're putting shoulder in. Jacobs. There's the big man, Vindy, unfortunately losing the ball in contact. 
scrum down for him to, to put the ball in. Big scrum there, Jacobs, getting it out to Miller, he's putting it on the boot. Let's see, Foran just got it. He's putting it back on the boot. Is Marcelo Janssen the small fullback? Is that man? For Foran to, oh. The outside center, Mr. Kunrad. Another high tackle. Solid leg drive there. From Duvan Fortune of Foran to. Kipiro. Kipiro is going to carry strong. Working with their legs very well, these young boys. Big carry. Stop playing with their forwards. Miller, oh. unfortunately, taking his out of the ball, but referee says penalty for high tackle. Coaching staff from Labianz Primary, very animated. Next to the field. So Labians, they tap and go. That's Cupido there. Jacobs getting the ball out. Good carry there once again by Peterson. Four and two, not scrambling well. Jacobs, Muller following the game plan clearly here. Yeah. Four and two getting it back. Where's and a kick man? again, brother. Let's see what he can do. Slipping, sliding, on his feet. Beating one defender, beating another one. They take him out by the touchline. Valent effort there by Ethan Muller. Ethan Muller doing very well, but unfortunately the touchline. The touchline. Getting the better of him. So now a line out for worst goal. For, for him to primary. <laughs> they almost had worse goal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They go for the seven man. Oh, throw not going far enough. Can A turn of a ball and play it's now it's cute. for Labians. Oh. oh. So scramble now for four and two primary. I think definitely, definitely. they tired of going eight and two. So they've got to get some front football. They've got to get some go for it. They've got to find themselves in the game again. So yeah, they started off well in the beginning. Four and two the men from Ravens move. This is the men from Bravo. Strong carry there. Oh, good That's run. Man again. It's Ethan Miller. Offloading to his five lock partner. Strong carry there as well by Spannenberg, number five. But the referee calls them back. Scramble to four and two. Let's see what Forendu can do. Big yes. scrum there. So Forendu going Forendu. They've got the ball now. Big hit. But for him to still reclaiming the ball. But penalty referee says knock on and offside. So he cannot play the ball on the ground. And just an update on the Bledisloe Cup. Before Muller kicks it out, now we can go to the Bledisloe. Yes, Score reads 12 points to 7. So that's for the All Blacks, eh? Yeah, All Blacks coming back there just before half time. 
But we go back to our mini Bladerslow Cup. All the way here from Pavel. Opportunity here. Muller getting it through. This guy is doing very well. Good hands. Straighten up. Oh, big hit. Hitting Mr. Payne. Payne is the left winger there. Bronson Brandt. Here we go, Muller. Ethan Muller. Give it to Dindy. Oh, what a strong, strong carry. carry there. Sucking in the forwards. Sucking in the whole team. There's an opportunity. There's, There's an overlap. Right. We Muller. need hands. Oh. Muller. Ball went backwards, but the referee calls them back. For the knock. Or high tackle, he says. Muller is going to quick tap. He's giving it to Kipido. Smashing it in there. Jacobs. Ball is backwards. Muller. Referee says, no, it's a knock on. And that's half time in the under 13A game. Boys going to take a quick breather and then they'll be back with the second half. The long.
So second off underway in the under 13 in Kalki. Four and two primary school and Labian's primary four and two just not getting anywhere so far in this game. Second off just starting. Score is 5-3 of Labian's primary. Boys giving the ball a lot of air in this game. Big carries by the Labby Jans. The forwards contributing to a lot of the, yeah, lot Muller, of the play, a lot of the momentum. Miller getting it out there. Strong carry. Referee sees advantage. There's still men over on the outside. High Can tackle. Get it through the end. Oh, and he brings them back. Another high tackle by four into primary. The discipline Keep it out. really Keep costing it out. them. Straightening it off. Big contact in this under 13 game. There's a substitute there, but let's say it's Miller. It's Ethan Miller. The referee says it's backwards. And the soccer is back. Yeah. There's a captain. A goosey. And is it, is it going? Popping the ball in contact. Oh. Back into the traffic. Slip and slide. There's that man. Strong carry. Ball coming back. Oof. Bit of hot potato there. Oh, regathered well by 4-2. Are they going 4-2? Labianz with a good counter up. 4-2. There's the scrum off coming. 4-2. Giving the ball out. Hands it on. Here's an opportunity for the young men from Ravensmead. They keep it alive. Does he have the pace? No, he's going to be caught. Ethan Muller. Devon Fortein. And it's a penalty to 4-2. Good tackle there by the captain of Labians, but it's it's not allowed, it's a penalty. So they decide to tap and go. JT Arendorf, he gets the ball, gets it to outside center. Bronson Brandt, but he's met with another high tackle by the men of Labians. So discipline evading them. And the referee calls them back for the high tackle. So they take the quick tap, they play it to Brandt again, he trucks it up, ball comes out, but the referee said, not on his feet. The referee just talking to the parents, they're asking the parents to just step back. As they are too close to the field, except from the parents, obviously wanting to encourage their players. So Labian's going for touch. Going for a seven-man lineup. So let's see Cupido. Can he find his jumper? He quickly went there to just to make sure they know what the lineout call is. Overthrow opportunity there for four and two. Referee says no. Let's bring it back. So half time score in the British low is 19 7. Sure, the blacks. In the favor of the men in black. But back to our little British low. The primary British low. Yeah, ball that's not. Straight the line out, so scrum for four into primary. Fed by Lee J. Solomon. But big shot from Labians. And they'll reset that scrum again. As we see the first team from the Kalen. Coming through after they done their warm up. <coughs> ITS Belvos first team still going through their last last plays before they get their jerseys on and get ready. But four and two with the feed. Labians with a big shove. They go to Brandt. Brandt short side, but he gets pummeled into touch. Yeah, Tolo, very interesting. There's a lot of space on the open side, but they're coming this side. 
So, wasting an opportunity and there's not much time left in this game. I think it's typical primary school rugby. Yeah. Just give it to the big boy. Give it to the Let him make boy. some meters. So again, line out for Labians. Oh, they throw the front ball. They win it. Now they take it down the back line. These guys are dangerous with oh. ball in hand if they can keep it. He loses it. So referee calls them back. Score still reading five. To Labians, three points to four and two. As the rain keeps on coming down, it's scramble. Into. They feed this. And it's the eighth man of Labia. The power. Very strong as the wind is also coming down, very strong. Let's see if Labia can recycle the ball. The referee penalty. says, yeah, penalty advantage there. And there they go, it's Muller getting it through to Kunrad. Strong carry. Is he gonna go all the way? No. Big tackle there by four into opportunity here. Guys are slipping and sliding. Muller, the captain, running there into the traffic. Here's an opportunity for Muller, the eighth man. Knock on there. Yeah, the rain really affecting both teams underfoot and the hands. Good self. So scrum feed for four and two, but another tight hit by Labians. But winger met. It's Him. Muller. Muller getting it out. They still have the ball of <laughs> Muller again. <laughs> Kunrad. Oh, there's time and space. Oh. Wow. Ball that goes Long forward there. Yeah. Boy's not hearing the whistle. Curtis. Curtis Beek is getting ready for the first time encounter. Just waiting for a few substitutions that are happening. On the lovely arm side. He calls them for the scrum. Scrum ball put in by four and two out to the fly of JT. He plays Brandt. Brandt just carries another high tackle on Brandt. Ball tap. Oh, four lock. With a strong carry. Jack Meta. But again, I tackle. So four and two, they quick tap. Ball comes out. And it's there for now. Oh! Dylan Williams. Executing the <laughs> so the rain subsiding.
as we get to the end of this under 13 fixture between Labians Primary and the Kalen Primary. I beg your pardon, four and two. <laughs> primary score still five points to three in the favor of Labians. It's their scrum feed. Will we get another try in the second half? Ball comes out. Strong carry by the inside center. Outside center passes. Ball scrappy. Players waiting for something to happen and it looks like something's going to happen now as the ball gets to the 13. Oh, good work inside. Labians carrying, playing, trucking forward. But ball lost, turned over. Oh, and it's the hook of four and two. Oh, he goes. Is he going all the way? No. Oh, he's, he makes it through. Oh, but he gets taken out. Tyler Rose with a strong run, making 20, 30 meters on the touchline as the referee just blows his whistle for an injury. Maar is nou top 12 minuut en met een klim maar. Ons gaat Montekie toe. Hier kom my kinders met die jou. Ja, hulle is een, hulle is man is net nie op een level nie, maar die kera, hulle is middel. Jesus. Oh, and it's a try! Oh no, he loses the ball. Oh, almost taking the win there. Four, four and two. But now they concede a penalty for back chatting. Score still 5-3. Just a few minutes left to play. Oh, kick. Not going out. So here, 4 and 2. Oh, ball knocked off the kick. So scrum feed for Labians in the final minutes of the game. Referee just resetting that scrum there. Four and two really having an opportunity there to win the game. But he just loses the ball as he goes over the try line, unfortunately. But four and two still set and ready. They want to sniff out an opportunity. They want to get a try. But ball is fed for Labians and the eighth man. He comes around on the blind side. He'll get caught. And he gets taken out. But the referee blows full time and Labians take the win. Five points to three. Tribulation for the youngsters. And we thank them for coming out 
and playing barefoot in the mud. Thank you to Four and to Primary as well for the game they played. But Lavians take that one, five points to three. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we can get ourselves ready for the first team encounter between Artius Belleville and the Kalen. The game that we came for, the derby encounter that we wanted. So stay tuned and stay ready. We'll be with you guys in just a short bit. Yeah, so ladies and gentlemen, it's the big one. Artius Belleville versus the Kalen. And I've got a guest with me. Somebody that will join me this afternoon. Sukar Artsenberg. You guys would have seen him on the socials. Um, teacher, social inspiration, just coming and adding value to the community. So he's going to join me this afternoon in the commentary box. Uh, Sukar, good afternoon, sir. Welcome. Uh, good afternoon uh, to all the uh, listeners and the viewers. It's an amazing, vibrant atmosphere here at the Hattie's Bravo. You can clearly see that uh, the energy is pumping, the stand is getting full, and that's what rugby is about. It's about bringing people together and, of course, getting people to support each other mm. and uh, making memories off the field, but also on the field. And I think, uh, JP, thank you for having me today. It's so amazing to be here, uh, to, to slot in and uh, be available to see the memories that will be created here this afternoon. Sukar, and I think the amazing thing is people maybe don't know. Sukar, rugby, what's happening? To, today, today is an awesome opportunity. You guys are going to hear. He knows his rugby, he knows what's happening. He's going to add a lot of value. But Sukar also, as you said, it's about bringing people together, communities together, schools together. But I mean in school days, if you reflect back on your school days, we remember these moments, the big moment, the big stage, that day. So, so yeah, just any memories from your school days or playing days that, that come to mind? Yeah, I, I think, um, I, you know what, when I just drove in here, I can remember um, I'm the 15 Western Province Trials. Um, it was one of the, you know, um, it was so amazing to be on this, that field, mm. uh, to play trials here and make it under 15 uh, Western Province Trials. Mm. Um, you know, so to me, I hope I would like to see uh, back in my days that I played flanks 
And I would like to see the cross cover tackles mm. of those guys right and well. The wings particularly yes. running into spaces uh. the Frank doing the job uh. to make sure that he's not getting an inch closer to the trial line. And that is exactly what I want to see here today. So uh, it's going to be an amazing afternoon. Um, yes, there's a bit of uh, the weather is not playing its part, but I think rugby is a winter sport. So <laughs> we need to make sure... I think sometimes we forget that, that, eh? One, I mean, it's too cozy, you know? So the key thing here today is how can these two teams embrace the wet field, wet conditions? How are they going to take the ball forward? And um, yeah, so again, it's great being here. And it's definitely reminiscent of what I've experienced when I uh, played on this video. Sure, Sukar, yeah, thanks for taking us down memory low. What you can maybe do, Sukar, there on your side, if you have the, uh, the Kalen team sheet, you can check there um, if you've got it by you. And then, uh, but firstly, you at home, make sure you share the link, subscribe to our channel. This is going to be big. This is going to be massive. This is the derby, the Access Park derby. Let's, let's call it the Access Park derby. It's there and... Um, yeah, so make sure you share the link. Let us know in the comments who's the people that we need to watch out for, that we need to look to ask out for. Give us your score prediction. Let us know what's going to be happening this afternoon because these gents are ready. The people's coming off the pavilion. They don't care about the rain because they need to make the tunnel. They need to get ready because the big boys are going to play soon. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, the rain is not staying away, but we're ready for action. We're going to be ready. We're ready. We're ready. Ooh, there's color. There's a vibe. There's a vibe. It's the Kalen. The boys are coming out. The boys are coming out. But soon, soon, we're going to take you through the team sheet of the Kalen. So we will, we will get there. We will get there. It's the home team. It's Artyus Belvo. Coming onto the field soon. Let us see. Led there by the captain. It's quality. No, I just want to put you on. This one. Testing one, two, just test it. Just test one, quickly. Two. Testing I, one, two. I just test one, two. Testing one, two. All good. Here we go, Sukar. Sorry, man, for that one. No you problem. can just, that's the RTS team, but you can continue. Go for it. You can go for it. You can go for it. Okay. Yeah, you can go for it. Connor Smith, uh, for the, of course, dictating the game here. This, this, this awesome is going to be Sean D. Willemsker on number 10. With number 9, Craig Fakir. 8, Wade Israel. And uh, 7, Indy Gordani. And uh, 6, Olivoyo Langer. And number 5, Ethan Tickerson. And of course, the uh, number 4, Ray Lombard. Going on uh, number three is, of course, the Sherman Majar. And uh, number two, Hooker, Sherman. Sorry, Jade. Number two, Hooker, Jade, the number eight. And uh, the uh, number one, Laken Flo. So, Sukar, and thanks for that. We are back at the action. The Kalen carrying very strong there. So, also the number five, Lock. He's a guy that played provincial rugby. But it's a turnover. It's the Kalen. It's a strong carry. It's RTS Bravo. They a strong carry there. Sukar, take us through the action there. A great pass there from number, number nine. That's a very good ball. Unfortunately, go to hand. Lost back there. And there we have it. But yeah, so Sukar in the first couple of minutes. So, um, 
So just quickly sorting out a technical error. We're going to be back in one second. So yeah, we are back in action. The wind is playing a role, the rain is playing a role, but we're here. Let's see, it's Hati S. Bravo. There's a line out. Let's see, it's that man going to throw it in. It's a Roberto Oppo coming down. It's a more good rip there by the six flanker. Griegen, they still have the ball. They're going forward. They're going forward. The referee says they're fine. They can continue. They're working with their legs. Number nine is controlling it very well. They're breaking away. Opportunity here for the men from Belvo. Referee says there's a knock on, a slight knock on. So on our side, yeah, we're just going to focus on the Hatties Belvo team. The Kalen will we'll adapt, we'll take it from there. So let's see. So yeah, we've got to the Kalen team. We just got it now. So we will also go through that gradually during the course of the game we can go through that but ladies and gentlemen it's a scrum it's an opportunity unfortunately it's not there boy it is bubble but let's see what they can do sukar if they can put them under pressure as the first scrum of the game? I think Artis Bowl is a very physical team. Uh, yeah. um, that's, that's where they get their forward dominance. So let's see the scrum. It's looking good actually. <laughs> so that's exactly what I'm saying. Okay. A lot of forward dominance. They've been doing very well, giving team 50s and 70s. Um, so, so I think... Like that, mm. uh, the conditions actually suit your team. Mm. You're able to play a bit of a up front and taking the ball out wide if the chance is there. Correct. And as you can see as well, the area where they're scrumming now underfoot, it's actually not too bad. But the rest of the field, uh, it's, it's a bit of a battle. And I always think in, in areas like this, if you can dominate up front, use your turnover ball with the wings out wide. But other than that, uh, let's see, let's see what they're going to do here with this one. And they got the ball, amazing, well done. It's over the line. <laughs> over the line. Ah, Under Steve, pressure. Well great, great, great stuff there. The game, yeah. Great ah, stuff yeah. there. So Hati is ready for action. So Sukar, there we have it. Opportunity, as we said. Set piece dominance. Interesting stuff. Interesting stuff. It's sorted. It's very important, you need to be on the right channels in life, if you're not on the right channels. 100%. <laughs> so yeah, Sukar, you can take us through this kickoff. I think the Kalen, they're going to restart the match here. <laughs> the uh, number 10, of course, making sure, um, setting the field, checking where the spaces are. Are uh, they going towards the left of the field? That's a good up and under there. It's backwards and uh, Hart is regaining good possession. It's a very technical kick, but well done for the Kalen, ensuring that they reclaim the ball in that from that kick. And it's going to be a penalty coming on the side from Hart is. The Kalen with an advantage here. Are they going to touch line or are they actually going to pulse? What are they going to do?
That was that was an excellent kick there from the Kalen. Now 100%. I think they the, no, they are not going to lay down. They are coming back, and you can clearly see if they're going to have an opportunity. They're going for poles. So yes. And as uh, soon as the Kalen gets points, the rain comes down. <laughs> Yeah, I think that was very important for the Kalen uh, getting that because it's seven points to three. And let's see, let's see here. It's the Ben from Bauble. Clayton getting the hand kick there. Slap back. That's a good contest there from ba from Bauble. They still have possession of the ball. That's a nice good setup. Of course, in the trenches, uh, unfortunately, didn't go to hand an advantage for Scrum for the Kalen. Lost. Once again, another knock on. It's going to be a decayment throw in. So, very over eager there by the captain, yeah. the tight head prop there. It is Dia coming there on the short line. Instead of just staying patient, they have the opportunity, they have the advantage. Just staying patient and then carrying the ball up. That wasn't. That was a uh, very good contest there, and it's going to be the Kalen throw-in. Will Belv take this one from the Kalen? So it's going to be seen. So yeah, let's see the men from Belv. Massive previous scrum. Well done there by the Kalen. 100%. I think that's a much, much better scrum. Goal going out wide. It's a good going towards the end of the field. Lovely pass out wide from the Kalen. Stepping inside, but the water is not saying you're not going anywhere. Has to go down, securing the ball at the breakdown. The current doing exceptionally well to secure possession. The number. Number 10 out wide. It seemed to me the current is taking the ball out wide and it's going to be direct into touch. Yeah, you can clearly see yeah. this intent. You Definitely. can clearly see this intent. When the guys are up, they're trying to find kick space. But the important thing is you need to keep your errors low. 100%. For the hooker once again, it's Opel, Roberto. Let's see. He's going to try and find his jumpers. With number six there, what do you think mm. his artist mm. Bravo going to do mm. on, the, on the lineup? 100%. I think he's going up. It's amazing stuff. Though. Well done. It's a coach That's killer. A good, yeah. It's a coach killer. It's a hooker killer. <laughs> So Opa won't be happy with that because he found his jumper. But Shukar, what normally happens, the guys, when they go up, they move over. Yeah. Now the shoulders go in, it's on the outside shoulder. Now everybody thinks there's something wrong with the system, but you must just go straight up. 100%. So all our technical glitches are sorted. Sorted. We're ready for action. One we bring it live. Here we go. Carry there. Putting it up there. The outside center. Strong carry. That's Waldeck. Complaining by the referee. Show and go. Is he going to go all the way? Show and go. Great finish there. Gaddafi. Chad Gaddafi as they call him. Mr. Rinquist. Show and go. A la um, Ponomari. Huh? Having time, having some gamesmanship, show and go, getting the hand off there. I'm not too sure if the showboating before the time is good, but he finishes. And Sukar, as you can see on the left hand side, the whole crowd, they're starting to get their voices back. They're coming into this game, definitely the magic man. I'm going to take every opportunity when you have a moment to do so. The kick number 14. Yeah, it's Mr. Hendricks, Mr. Matthew Hendricks. Hendricks, coming forward, strikes it. He adds the points. Exceptionally well. He Great stuff. And, it, and it's very interesting. You asked about the movement. So they played 12 with 13 coming short. Mm. But the option after that is 10 behind his back. 100%. Yeah. So, so you can clearly see they've got a setup. But depending on what's on, they test that. So, so that's interesting to see on this level. Not too fancy, but playing what's in front of you. I mean, that's what we want to see. Uh, definitely. I think that's important because uh, it's about testing what you can do on the day. And uh, it is going on what just a knock to hand there from Artis, but the winger is securing the ball. Good tackle to touch, and it's going to be a throw in for the Kalen. Are I mean, they able to? Are they kicking the ball again? Once again, point in time for 
the set piece here. Your first race. Well, they wanted access park. They stay they here. Stay they want to see. They want to see what's happening. Rightfully so. It's so, a lot of high tier supporters, of course, yeah. but the Canon also quite a number in the crowd because this is a, a match to ensure so, uh, access park derby. So yeah, let's see both Opel, teams representing here. Let's see if Opal can find his jumpers. That's a great steal. Great steal from the Canon. Available. Setting up the ball, setting up number 11. Setting up a, a great. Well done there to the uh, number 11 for Shukuri Ball. And his name is uh, the left winger, uh, Charles Liebenberg, doing the most to ensure that the Kalen has possession of the ball. They're going, of course, they conceded a, uh, a penalty at that breakdown. So they're going for touch. Rightfully so, good choice, and it goes out very so, clear. So, so this is this is my thing throughout the day. You get the penalty, you go for touch, but now the gamble starts again. One hundred percent. Because now you're going to set piece. So let's see if they can fix the errors. But it, it, it's, it's important also to just work in territory, you know, because you don't want to stay in your. You want to get out there as quick as you can. So this one could go their way if they coordinate themselves good on the floor. There's space in the middle. Let's see if they're going to take it. Unfortunately not, it's that man again taking it, Fritz contesting, but the ball is back. The ball is back to the game. Inside. Good catch, good catch for number three. Uh, he's doing exceptionally well there. Uh, Sherman Maja as a tight head prop, securing the ball right where he needs to be. And they're going out wide, number 12 sitting up, keeping the ball out wide. They're 10 coming around and unfortunately the defense of Hart is doing exceptionally well, pushing and driving him back, uh, but they still have the ball. So even if you have the ball, there's different opportunities for you to move forward. How are they going to restart this? So, Artis Bravel has been exceptionally strong in the contact the whole afternoon from under 14s right through. So, definitely the Kalen will want to run into space when they've got a, the pods, play the plus, play the minus, play behind the back. Because if you're going to run straight, um, I'm not too sure. You see that flat there, they call it Sirocco. They're going to go back into Sirocco. Oh, Sirocco. <laughs> they, they want to go to the taxi rank side. Not into touch there, and again, uh, the Kalen not getting the advantage for the penalty they've considered that they've managed to gain. So it's a great run there from the Hatties. It's the number eight there, number eight, it's Miller, it? strong carry, but let's see, getting it there to the flyer. There's the captain, he's getting the plus. What is the opportunity on the outside? The Kalen's defense. There's that man, Fritz, he can't just jump in the line out. He's got a strong carry as well, but opportunity now, good continuity for the Numbers are wide, the There's opportunity, fold. putting it on the foot now. They need to keep the composure, not dive on the player. <laughs> and you see that it. is a coach killer. Right. You see that every single week, you do so well, and then you just chuck it away. Yeah, I think it's, uh, it's a bit un unfortunate, obviously, uh, we just, you know, there's great, great momentum and we have this, uh, the, the unforced errors are creating a break in the continuity of play. Um, and the important thing is to reduce the amount of errors on the day. Um, that would have been a great chase down and a great position. For you the spoke about territory earlier on and that's where you get territory there. Allow the guy to go, stay on your feet, contest for the ball and then you're in business. So it's small things, it's small things. So it's uh, a penalty for the Kalen. Definitely in position, you need to clear the ball here. The, uh, before this, you actually didn't uh, get the touch. So it's important to make sure to get the ball out and touch uh, so that you can get the meters gain. That is why you have a penalty. And uh, if you go for touch, is that ball? No, that's actually yeah, well done there. That's actually funny. a very good, uh, very good kick on the uh, 10. So yeah, I just took it as well. Um, I think from our side, we're really trying our best all afternoon. The wind is pumping, the weather was coming. So yeah, it's, it's, it's not easy out there. There's a lot of games it's canceled because of this conditions. Yeah, yeah, correct. But yeah, we're trying to push through, give you best possible um, streaming from our side. So thank you for your support. Uh, Suka, take us through this lineup here. It's uh, another throw in for the current. It's just not working for the Kellen at the moment uh, as they lost the ball there. The general putting it on the foot. There we go. Great kick there by the fly off. He's been doing great work this afternoon. 
They call him Gaza. Yeah, I, look, I think the Kelly and I will have to do a, make a plan in the lineups because it's just not going their way. They're not getting the ball. They're not able to kind of um, um, gain advantage there. They've been getting uh, a few lineups now and um, they're just not making the meters because they can't win the ball. And that is, of, of course, a problem. And uh, let's see what they can do now. So yeah, the challenge is with these conditions. Uh, there's a bit of wind, the ball is wet. So you're going to have to beat them on the ground. Which they've done. There. Yeah, a yeah. solid, solid, solid carry there by the tight head prop. Good tackle there, opportunity there, ball going back. The Kalen. Let's see what they can do. Just get this thing out too. The Karen having the ball, sitting up in the middle of the field. So yeah, the opportunity now. Opportunity for ITS Bowel to put the ball in. Let's see, they've been doing very well in terms of using the opportunities. So, yeah, let's see, let's see. There's still time left in the first half. There's still time left in the first half. The scrum is very, very, very big. So let's see if they can scrum for penalty. And after scrumming for penalty, if they can use that. Look, Balbal is in a very good position here at the moment. Um, a bit wet under foot conditions, but they are doing exceptionally well. Uh, ball retention there, 15, kind of wrap around, uh, great stuff, identifying the space, that's what you want to see on this level, ensuring that they are identifying the space, playing this, and number 10 is going uh, through in the, in the corner, that's what Kaza, that's what you're talking about here, Babel doing the most, and you can hear the support in the stands as well, so Kaza, in the back, and that's what you want to see on uh, this level. So Sukara, I'm going to take us back a couple of minutes prior when they had the setup with the outside center and we said the loop is on, playing it out the back. And you could see that the setup was coming, they play out the back, the fullback running into space and then Gaza. Just, I, I wonder where the name Gaza come from. We probably know seeing that now, guy like Damien Vill called Gaza, but Staying composed, going on the outside, fly of beating a wing on the outside and then scoring. That's what we want to see and they're going now for the conversion. If he kicks it over, it's 21 points to 3. Does he have the legs? Unfortunately not. But let's see. Can the Kalen come back? Do they have answers? Can they change the game plan? I don't know. It's going to be an exciting uh, moment for the Kalen because I think the, the important thing for them is to get some points on the board. They need to retain the ball. They need to win their set pieces because at the moment they are, they are struggling in that department, department. But those are also departments there where Hati is, is doing exceptionally well. So great catch there from them. It's very really strong running of the ball, ensuring that he makes great meters. And again, the touch line is your judge at that moment because like closing the space there and um, very frustrating for that player and coach of course that moment Sukar, i'm just a bit perplexed with something when they kick the ball in they kick the ball out of hand uh which i don't quite understand i would maybe just from my side half time i'm gonna ask the ref what's happening because irrespective of the position on the field like they need to find a spot to drop so, yeah, sorry, I was just a bit confused there because that's not how it works. But let's see, opportunity here for the Kalen. The middle ball is on, but yet again, they go for the front. Gaza, 
Now it's, ga it's not Gaza yet, but it's a long kick there. Against the wind, hanging the ball, not the best option. Razzle dazzle on the there. Let's see. Opportunity for the Kalen. They've got a man over. Not a good, not a good pass, but discipline. That was a late tackle and the referee's not happy with that. Yeah, I think you, in this conditions, Razzle doesn't is not working for you. You are taking a massive risk here, um, and it's not something you want to do under this foot conditions. And of course, uh, once again, the Karen not uh, Ati is not is showing discipline there for the late tackle. Um, they can going for pulse on that penalty there. Uh, wh what do you think going for pulse? The, look, conditions, uh, conditions it, it is the choice at the moment, and they are able to get some points on the board. The set piece is not doing great, especially the lineouts. Uh, I know it's a deficit, uh, you know, about uh, about, uh, 17. Now it's quite uh, different there. It's, 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 it's a bit difficult for them. But look, earlier, same position, they were able to get it over, and it's going. Is it good? Unfortunately, got the distance, but just didn't get the direction. Yeah, so Adi is having the ball, putting a, a grabber through, not too sure. They could have uh, pressed it, they, they could have made sure that they just press the ball behind the line. So, yeah, let's see, see what's happening. Opportunity here for the Kalen. They're trying to get back into this game. The defense is very, very strong from the home side. Counter rock is good. Opportunity. Can they use it? Can they utilize it? Very interesting call there by the ref. He's calling them back. So yeah, we are amongst the animated fans here. The crowd is here. The rain is here. The wind is here. So yeah, it's very interesting. Um, Sukar just also when the wind is blowing, you need to have shorter passes. I totally agree with you because I think and the weather uh, ball being conditions is not that great to be exploiting that way because uh, the important thing for you you need to make the passes in order to secure the position of the ball you, you need to align to align your place so that you are able to get the ball out and securing the ball number 12 doing great there for Hatties. Um good uh, good breakdown there it seems to me it's going to be the kind of holding of the line, exception while well there, but uh, the rain is also pouring here and um, it's very muddy, I can tell you this. But uh, the uh, number nine has a very strong pass, control from 15, getting the ball in the center, number six heading up. He's going strong, he's a very strong man, not that big of a guy, but he's solid in contact. Hart is dominating the contact and uh, Getting, securing the ball, that's what you want. So the number nine, we, number seven is uh, taking the uh, ball out wide there. That's unfortunately a forward pass and uh, it's going to be a throw-in, scrum throw-in for the Kalen. But yeah, Sukar, rising condition, this is Park Darby, the way in, but the boys are playing exceptional rugby. Especially the local guys, the home team, doing really well. I think for the Kalen, they're going to have to look at the tactics. They're going to have to look at what they bring to the party. Because if you, you, you can't keep on chipping away like this. Because one or two more um, opportunities uh, that's converted by RTS, then it's going to be the set piece is struggling, scrums is struggling, lines, lineups are struggling. So they're going to have to come up with something. I don't know if you were the coach. There, but yeah, I think I think if you if you're going to go with that strategy, your your kicks need to be perfect. You know, make sure that you identify the spaces. Um, but it's not working for them. It's either out and touch, or the ball is just not getting the space you wanted to land. But you know what? They the the very good team of um, Hartes. They're very exceptional. They're reading the game exceptionally well. You can see the defensive line. The uh, back three is playing great off each other. They know how to read the game. And, uh, it's very difficult to a very um, a combination with a back three that actually 
understand how to cover the space at the back. So the Caleb came in to get the ball in the corners. It, it's not working. And the conditions, uh, the, 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 the underfoot conditions is also not in their favor as they try to razzle-dazzle. That's not working. So the strategy is sort of um, falling apart if I should, uh, for... Um, but the key thing here is uh, you've got to adapt your plan. If it's not working, you've got to play what is in front of you in order to kind of, in order to to bring a sense of um, diversity and a plan B. Because every coach, you need to have a plan B. If plan A, working. no, Sukar, I totally agree with you. And the thing is this: if you look at the makeup of the Irish team, you will see the back three is doing well, Kaza is doing well, Nine is dominating. He's got a proper pass. And then you get to the deck, the set piece, the, the X factor, the guys doing the hard yards. And with the Kalen, you need to compare apples with apples. And if you don't have that, you're going to have to have a solid plan. If your plan is not working and your, your individuals aren't beating the opposition, like lineouts, like scrums, it's going to be a long day at the office. And I like Curtis Beakers, also um, the Grand Como coaches at Western Province. So the first team coach. Ati is Pavel doing a really exciting work. But here's another opportunity. Like example, now it's a penalty, but they're slowing it down. I know it's raining. I know uh, the conditions isn't great. But once again, having an opportunity. Previously, they kicked for poles. They missed it. They missed the opportunity. So imagine if Ati is Pavel has five opportunities. What happened? So, so, so that's just from my perspective. Once again, but in this case, not tight. So... The plan, it's about a kicking game for them, you know, they, they, 100% underfoot conditions is a problem and they knew they're going to most likely be, be struggling with the set pieces and they came in with the whole idea of putting the ball in the corners when they get chance going for poles. So they're sticking to the game plan at the moment, you know, they're not making quick taps because that would have definitely gained them a much better chance of gaining Peters, you know, so you've got to adapt your plan. You cannot stick to the same plan if it's not working. If it's working, brilliant. Keep going. Um, and that's what the Kalen is doing. So they're keeping with a kicking plan. They are not really playing what's in front of them. Uh, there you have, they've got the ball out wide, but again, it's a skew. So you need to ensure that you get your target, it's communication, be consistent. So it's a bit frustrating for the line and for, for the hooker at the moment because it's just not going right for him. At least they changed up a bit there. They saw in front, it's not working, going out back, but now the top is off course. So the thing is, uh, if you go to a line out, you need to, you need to open it up. You need to go to your four man. You need to jump into space, but they're very static. They're very slow. So when they have a penalty, they're slow, they're static. I promise you, if, if, if Artis Bravo is going to get the opportunity, they're going to thrive. They, they're going to get the sniff. Interesting tight head there. Very, very interesting tight head there. Massive counter rock. <coughs> Massive counter rock there. But opportunity is still here available for the men from the Kalen. And then the other thing is the physicality. You can only take so much physicality in these conditions. But great hands there by your tight head prop. Opportunity now once again for the Kalen. Yeah, I can see the Kelly's able to regain the ball, and that's awesome for them. They've been advanced. They're going out wide, but slowly there's no cleanness at that breakdown. So it's either you get the ball out wide, you're making the passes, but if you do go down, you want to secure the ball, you need to have the support players. Otherwise, you're going to lose the ball breakdown. Uh, Hart is doing exceptional. They're doing great. They're contesting the breakdowns. They're not sleeping there. They're not saying, we are leading this game. We are going to sit back. We are going to come. And they are ensuring that the line is good. And that is what rugby is about. Stepping up every moment. Making sure that you are cutting the space for the attacking team. So, so, so look at this now. It's a, it's a line out. Look at their body language. Look at the energy. Look at the tempo. These guys are ready. If they sit. It's it, it's gonna be it's gonna be yeah it's gonna be a problem for that. So that's the thing. If you don't have the height, you need to have movement. You need to go into space, and then obviously the wind is blowing. So let's see. I don't know, but if they go into a six-man, they put two pods up. They're gonna struggle. I agree. Well, I totally agree with you. So it's a bit of, they're coming too slow, and they that's that's a good jump. But no, I think the the the, the number five of the, of, of Artis is doing exceptional. Well. So he he's cutting their feet. 
So, yes, the Kelly is struggling in the throwing, but it is the strength of the number five that is not giving them the leeway to do as they please. There is a that's a, a very, very questionable tackle there. Of course, a muddy conditions. Player couldn't help that situation. Both went low, and of uh, the ref understand the situation there. Managing it very well. Uh, managing it very well. 100%. He's doing it. He's managing it very well. Perfect. Once again, the Kalen going for poles. You know, the situation for them it is how many penalties, are, if, if we must add all of those penalties? Remember, this is now the fourth penalty mm. attempt for goal. Mm. So I understand if they kicked it over, it would have been 12. But they only have three points. So they need to up the, the tempo. They need to get these guys unsettled because they have a very good system. You play against a system team, you need to get them out of system. I totally agree with you. And uh, they need to bring the energy. I think they're probably most likely waiting waiting for second half. They need a bit of a booster at second half. So the distance is good. Distance good, but not tight. It's going under the poles there. And once again, there we have it. Um, the Kalen going to get a breather from the uh, onslaught from RTS here taking place at the Axis Park Derby. Uh, it's going to be an amazing uh, second half. I'm looking forward to see what uh, what RTS has to offer second half. The entire first half. Um, and they haven't had a lot of in the last uh, 10 to 15 minutes. So um, we are going to be uh, mesmerized here this afternoon, I believe. Uh, RTS going to come back with a bang. No, Sugar, definitely, just before we go into the break, so I think uh, definitely they need to chat, they need to change tactics, the Kalen, but defense is winning RTS this game. And if they're going to have the ball in hand, it's going to be problems. But yeah, we're going to be back soon with the second half, and it's action, action, action packed here in Belleville. It's the Axis Park Derby. Sugar Ratzenberg, JP Kellerman, we're going to be back soon.
Uh, ladies and gentlemen, with the second of the Axis Park Derby. So yeah, let's see if Brits can make that impact. So Brits is on the field. He's going to be explosive behind the breakdown. He's going to up the tempo, Sukar. So, so let's see his opportunity. And also that six flanker, very, very strong with the ball in hand. They call him Pitbull. Number six, they call him Pitbull, Mr. Mitchell. So yeah, watch out for him. Very, very strong carrier. But let's see, number eight also, Troki, probably Augustus, they call him like the Troki of Ati is here. But the ball is popping out, um, opportunity to put pressure on them. There's another kick, here's this guy coming, Brits, getting the ball out. Gaza, it's Gaza, it's still Gaza, it's Gaza all the way. Gaza showing when they have ball in hand. They are very, very dangerous, Sukar Brits. That man, Brits, getting it to Gaza, stop start, opportunity aplenty. And as we mentioned, when they have the ball, when they have the ball, there's problems. I'm telling you, uh, JP, I'm really enjoying the match here this afternoon. And of course, our viewers are having a great time um, seeing what Hatties has to offer. Uh, if it's not Gaza, they've got so many... Um, guys who are doing exceptionally well yeah very exciting players great future of course uh, for for western province rugby and who knows how we'll be able to see them and follow them in the future because you know what um these guys are off to university soon and um, we want to see them uh, be able to take opportunities in the in the in the varsity cup um definitely exciting stuff yeah uh great talent here so you know what magic man is it going to be number 10 yeah, Not a lot. There was a very, very long chat, uh, the AR and the referee. 
So yeah, we didn't mic the ref up as well because the conditions didn't allow that. But yeah, let's see, they're gonna chat. I think the try is definitely gonna be disallowed. Our referee is doing his thing, he's speaking to the captain, um, explaining the, the situation. So it's going to be... So it's going to be a yellow card uh, for number eight. Yeah. So that's Troki. Troki, what was the call though? So we're going to see now the yeah. referee has to indicate when he blows the penalty. Yeah. Shoulder charge or something. A late tackle, late tackle for number eight. Uh, look, I think discipline is important. Uh, we have, we've seen a, a two, two, three moments where Hatties just um, drop their heads there. Um, but they're doing exceptional when they have ball in hand. Uh, we just have to be consistent because you want to take your opportunities. It's a very good tackle there. It's going to be an advantage as it stands, as the referee is showing advantage. Um, but Hatties still in possession of the ball. It's going to be a penalty. So yeah, now, now you're going to see different tactics because RTS has got the wind behind them. They want to control set piece, they want to kick it out, use territory as you earlier mentioned, and then uh, yeah, play it from there. Yeah, Jabi, so uh, it's a high tackle in favor, uh, penalty for for, uh, for Artis. That's a very, that's a very different um, strategy, but I think you, you mentioned that uh, they want to get the ball out quick. So it's important to have these conversations to bring the, uh, the variety um, in the way you approach the game because why you Here need to... Fritz, the five Fritz, nah, he's doing exceptionally well there. Great contest at the breakdown um, and it's going to be a penalty once again. You've got to show daylight. It's important to show daylight at the breakdown. Hartes with the ball, number 14, taking this one to the line. But yeah, also to the listeners at home and the viewers at home, uh, I think the general guys are with Pritz at nine coming in. He's going to bring the spark. Now you're going to see opportunity for Fritz to take his own ball in the lineout. Very strong carry. But there's so much options in this team that they do. So yeah, it's going to be interesting to see where they're going to be stopped. Going into space as we asked earlier. There's that man, Pitbull, getting it out to Gaza. Mitchell. Mitchell, Mitchell, Mitchell. Good carry there. There's a good carry, still opportunity there. So well done by Hendricks. Strong carry there by the Lucid. Sana, and there we go. There's your man. It's Fritz. So the 14 there is Hendricks, the guy that ran over a couple of people. And then Fritz just showing I can I can jump in the lineout, I can contest in the lineout, I can leg drive, but if there's space, I can finish Shukar. Yeah, I think the, it's just coming together for this team. Uh, Hati is doing exceptional. You can see it's a well-coached team. Um, the coach, of course, ensuring that he brings the systems, the growth of coaches. I think Western Province is doing a great job in the way they are developing the coaches and giving the coaches doing exceptionally well in the various leagues um, opportunities to grow as well as coaches. And you can clearly see he deserves where he is in terms of what his team is capable of. And not only, not only in, in the various set pieces, but the skill level to me is remarkable. I mean, I looked at that one pass. Pitbull doing so exceptional, playing the ball out wide. Um, and that's what you want to see. You don't want to see only a player with a strong sense of physicality, but you want to see a great skill level as well. Yeah, so they adds the two points. That's Hendricks again. But Sukar, I think it's so important to understand that um, the exposure these boys are getting. Because a guy like uh, Coach Curtis, so they made sure they get the live stream, they get this footage out, that people can see these boys. They've been playing well the whole year, but who saw them? You understand? So, so that is how important exposure is. And, uh, but once again, great, great team play there. And here's an opportunity now. The referee says it's a knock-on. But I, I really just feel, um, like they say in Afrikaans, how is it by a skit good? They've got a lot of guns, they've got a lot of tools, they've got a lot of X Factor, they've got physicality. And that was my question earlier on. The Kalen's gonna have to come with something else. They're gonna they, they can't kick the ball away, Sukar. So now when you play against the wind, you need to keep the ball, you need to keep the ball in hand. So yeah, let's see what happens here at the scrum. 
the Kalen securing the ball. That's a very good, uh, good stable scrum from the Kalen there. But it's uh, going up, going to be a re throw in, in this case. Kalen, will they uh, set the ball? Are they able to loops? What are they going to be at this point in time? The feel is also it's becoming more heavier, so the ball you need to be very careful how you get the ball out wide. Um, will they set the ball up in the middle of the park and uh, perhaps play on the corner, stretching the field a bit out so that they can hopefully come back to play in between the spaces? So, would you be able to do that? Let's wait and see. Yeah, because we can clearly see as a move, there's the, the blind side winger. And the 13 is also here, but there's the big scrum. There's the big scrum. And it's, it's Mr. Blitz. Pitbull. It's Pitbull. It's still Pitbull. He's getting it out. It's a number seven. It's Ntundu. He's giving it back to Pitbull. Is there only two guys playing? It's Pitbull. And he's giving it then to his flanker, doing a great work. Ngundu, Pat, Sukar, Pritz. Bringing the spark, the nine, just coming on. So that's what I was trying to say. If you want the spark, if you want to keep the ball, because you can see these guys that can defend. But the Kalen took a lot of knocks, a lot of physicality in the first half. And the field is heavy. The field is very heavy underfoot. So, but I see the ARs, they like the space. <laughs> Another one giving a chat. So let's see what the conclusion will be here. Or maybe um, he just needs to get steps on his watch there, Sukar, making sure they come over. But I think really a good spectacle here. The Access Park derby. And here's an opportunity for either Artes to put pressure or for the Kalen to exit. Yeah, but, uh, you know, exiting against uh, with a strong win, you can see the moment they get in a position like this, they, <laughs> the win is picking up. It's a, it's a, it's a scrum. And um, Artes is exceptionally strong in the scrums. Uh, before this, they had an uh, idea, they had a move, it seemed to me it, it will be another one here. They're doing enough to secure the ball, but <clears throat> once again, the ball is just not coming out as fast as you'd like, and that's delaying the play. So yeah, so in conditions like this, you want to play channel one, get the ball in and out, but currently you can see the second shove of the is. When the Kalen want to take the ball off, they, 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 they're just coming with that second shove. So I think that's very important. Get the ball in and out. In and out channel one, then you can play. That's much better. Number 15 with the ball. And holding on to the ball too long, that's just too long. Very indecisive. And it's going to be a penalty. Boys have to calm down here. The referee um, showing he's in charge here. It's very stay, staying composed. But the boys are able to sort that out. You know, these things happen on the field, but it's good that they're able to just pull apart and focus on the game. That's important here. Um, intensity is going to pick up. Uh, they're kind of feeling a bit frustrated going their way, and um, they need to just stay calm and focus on the game. And it's the first step and go from them. It's a not a good pass out wide. Ball's going backwards. Uh, they kind of still in position of the ball. Yeah, so uh, it just seemed to me that the Kalen, they don't have the guys in the right spaces. They're out of position. Ball's not getting where it's supposed to be and it's making things very difficult. They're unable to capitalize on that advantage. In this case, it's going to be a scrum for throw-in for Hatties. But Sukar, I think just another thing that's playing a massive role is the physicality. The physicality of the RTS boys, they can run straight, they can carry, they, they keep three, four, five people busy. I mean, if you look at the run, Pitbull and his flanker there, they carry the ball almost from their own 22 till here because they're keeping guys busy. Look at the size of Hendricks, the winger there, um, and then obviously the flair of Gaza. So, yeah, that, that plays a massive role, but let's see. Scrum here, ball's coming out. Hendricks, unfortunately, couldn't just hold on to that ball. But here's an opportunity for the Kalen. Let's see what they can do with turnover ball. The referee says, no, there's two knock-ons. So, um, yeah, 
That is, that is us here at Club Rugby Live. Sukar and JP this afternoon bringing you the first team action. Make sure that you subscribe on our channel. We also just want to thank all the sponsors for today. It's very important giving these guys publicity. But make sure that you subscribe, you share the link. And these boys, Sukar, will be able to watch this game again. When things are done, they can go to YouTube, watch it again. And this is where you learn. That's where you develop. That's where you get better. And I mean, as you've mentioned, these guys are going to university soon. And, and it's, it's good to see the talent, the talent we have on display this afternoon. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's important to, to, to utilize social media in a way for, for these players so they can go back. Because you know, back in our days, we didn't have the access that we have today. And um, platforms like Club Rugby Live, that's what we need to capitalize on. We've got to make sure that we get in contact so that your school could feature. But more importantly, to put your brand out there because that's key. We have a platform and we need to use it so that we can show what our institution is all about. So that's a very good, uh, uh, you know, Ati is doing great on defense there, but they're currently kind of managing to secure the ball. Uh, but it's decisive there from the number nine. Um, it's uh, in the muddy conditions, in minimal, 100%. So it's easy but difficult. Um, they don't know where the ball needs to go. It's And that's why communication is working because it's uncertain. And the Boris, go look at the numbers out wide for our tears. Um, they are able to secure the ball, but you can clearly see, as you have an idea, they know where the ball is going. Good, unfortunately, it is going to come back, um, and the advantage is going to be penalty. So it would have been interesting. It would have been interesting to see if this is a, a dry day. <laughs> it would have been very interesting. But let's see, it's Hendricks. See principal's office there again, uh, just having a chat to the gents, the referee, and he invites him to the naughty chair. So he's gonna go sit there. But here we go again. Tap and go. There's that guy carrying loads of people on his back. It's Blitz, Fritz, still Fritz, carrying strong, the blind is on, Gaza, it's Gaza, it's still Gaza, <laughs> Gaza making sure the previous try that was disallowed Sukar, he scores it now. Uh, he's definitely coming up with the goods here this afternoon, showing go, he's been really a superb class here, um, a future. I'm looking forward to follow that guy in the, in, the, in the months and the years to come because he's going to make a big name for himself. But more importantly, keeping the, the name of RTS Belleville very high. And that's what we want. We want players representing the schools, representing the teams to the best of their ability. And today, he is doing that. But he's not the only one because we've got guys like uh, um, um, Hendrix doing great stuff. Pitbull is also um, one prospect for the future as well. And of course, our number five, Locke, who is doing great work there. So the rain is starting again. Um, the Kalen um, looking the, uh, the part on the day here with the muddy conditions. And uh, they're just not getting to secure the ball as they would like the shape. You can't really see what style of play are they um, applying today as they came in with a mindset that they will be kicking and the weather didn't allow them. And of course, the accuracy of the kicks also didn't allow them. So Troki's doing great there, um, receiving the ball, setting up a, uh, a great uh, a breakdown. And uh, uh, the wind is picking up here and, it's, uh, and the wind is picking up. The weather is coming down now. We've got to get... Yeah, so um, the gazebo just blew uh, basically some of the things away. So if the, sh if the stream is cutting soon,